Hello, everyone, and welcome to D&D Night on DDO Stream, sponsored by Fantasy Grounds, the most supported virtual tabletop with more official licenses. Oh, wait a minute, guys. I don't have my desktop audio turned on. Hello, everyone, and welcome to D&D Night on DDO Stream, sponsored by Fantasy Grounds, the most supported virtual tabletop with more official licenses than any other virtual tabletop. Visit them at fantasygrounds.com to learn more. This is D&D Night, Heroes of Battle Rise campaign. I'm Evil Beaker, your Dungeon Master host for this evening. Uh, tonight we're going to continue our adventures in the Out of the Abyss adventure by Wizards of the Coast, and we have two returning players to the campaign and we'll uh, get those introductions going here and we'll work them back into the campaign here uh we'll start from right to left on uh or left to right i should say on my screen uh with utini the barbarian hello say hello to everybody utini hello i'm patrick from videocast playing utini and utini smells something that smells like fresh new sh pretty shoes <laughs> here we go <clears throat> uh next would be beavis pork hammer our our resident paladin say hello beavis hello everybody and next we have returning with pretty smelling shoes calliope the bard i can't believe routine already smelled my shoes he just will not leave me alone <laughs> and then we have eldeth the dwarven fighter cleric say hello eldeth Hello, Eldeth. May Baronar be with you all tonight. Oh, very good. And uh, next we have returning Jerry the Cleric. Hello. Uh, I'm a cleric uh, named Jerry the Cleric. No relation to the person behind the microphone <laughs> who is also a cleric, but isn't named Jerry. Yes. Still the greatest, one of the greatest names of any character I've ever run. And then last and certainly not least, uh, Draculetta. Hey everybody, how's it going? I am Drac. I am playing a warlock who thinks she's a wizard. I thought it was the other way around. Or I'm sorry, a wizard who yeah, that's true. Okay. <laughs> See, even I get confused. Sure, sure. <laughs> so uh so we're gonna be continuing our of the abyss game. Uh when we last left our party, they were trying to well let's 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 back up a little bit more since we got some uh some returning uh, folks here um uh, a long time ago back on the surface uh draculetta uh, made a very bad enemy uh in the demon lord orcus uh, and he basically I shattered protest. yes i feel like orcus picked that fight oh. <laughs> yeah, i agree i agree Okay. Well, I was we, willing, I, and I tried to chop his freaking arm off. Well, I did. Can't forget that off. part. Well, regardless, he won the battle because he shattered the keep. Objection! Sen sending you all Not to the art. Sending you all to the underdark. Um, and in the process, some of you got separated uh, from the rest of the party, uh, aka uh, the halfling cleric. Uh, Keneal, who is still lost somewhere in the Underdark. And then there was also Calliope and Jerry that somehow got separated from the party. Uh, during your travels, the rest of the party, you picked up a couple of stragglers. Uh, Eldeth, and uh, she was a, held by a, a, a droll slave camp. And she escaped from there and met up with your group. And there's three other... Uh, individuals and i'll send those to everybody here uh just as a refresher there was a shushar who's a koato uh pacifist priest and he, actually he's not a priest he's just a pacifist uh, although he does a few levels of fighter there is stool the mushroom guy and uh he's a little little dude there and and he com he communicates with everybody with using his tele telepathic spores and then there is the sentient gelatin gelatinous cube Glabagool, who tells you that he suddenly became uh, sentient or more sentient because his god was nearby, and that would be the evil god Jubilex. Although Glabagool seems very very neutral in his uh, interactions with the party, he's very interested in everybody and. Um, just what it's like to be alive. So the party uh, 
after talking with Shushar, he says, if you guys want to get back to the surface, you needed to travel to Dark Lake, and which is a gigantic underground uh, lake uh, in the Underdark. And from there, you can navigate to a couple of different places where you could uh, potentially get to the surface. One of them would be Eldeth's home um, home kingdom, one of the underground dwarven kingdoms, uh, which actually is not very far from Waterdeep, and that would be Gaunt, Gaunt Grim. Uh, but that one's pretty far away. But in the meantime, there is a Koato village, and then there's a Duger-controlled outpost that is also on uh, Dark Lake. And uh, so you guys have been trying to get to Dark Lake, and uh, who is doing that? That would be Beavis. Um, as you guys were gotten, started to get a little bit closer to Dark Lake, you discovered that there was a gigantic underground cavern, but to get across, you had to walk across different spider webs because the spiders had created this gigantic maze of walking across. And there was two um, goblins, uh, Yuck Yuck and Spiderbait, and they offered to um, guide you guys across the uh, webs to the other side. You paid them a small pittance for their time. They have led you to a large web bridge. And on that bridge, oops, oh, where is it? Here we go. On that bridge, you guys get almost all the way across this bridge as you've been traveling for quite a while, and you're suddenly confronted by a group of drow, and it looks like these drow are hunting their escape prisoners, which would be Eldeth, Shashar, and Stool, and they, before, before we quit the last time, they had mentioned that there is an open contract on a warlock named Draculetta by the by the demon lord Orcus, uh, dead or alive, preferably alive. And as you guys confront the group, hang on. As you guys confront the group, you notice that they have uh, two prisoners tied up behind them and that would be calliope and jerry the cleric you guys were wondering how it's going to work you back into the game you actually were captured by the drow and that is where we left off any questions Oh, hang on. My stupid Discord cut out of me. Sorry. Go ahead. Did they say how much the reward for Draculetta was? Uh, no. <laughs> Dang. Uh. Um, yeah, just Did FYI. Did the reward for Eldith was? Uh, I can mess with the fireball and hit you. You do realize that, right? <laughs> Did they treat us well? Did we at least get toilet paper? Yeah. <laughs> Can yes. Want to ask that again? Yeah, yes. You are. You are. You are on your knees, bound. All of your stuff is in a bag uh, in, on one of these guys' side here. Uh, but you were captured by these drow, this drow hunting party, um, who have been looking for Eldeth and and have also been looking for the contract on Draculetta. Now, before I ask everybody to roll for initiative, since since Fenicus couldn't make it tonight, Yuck Yuck and Spider Beat go. Uh, go, uh, we are, we are loyal. We are loyal. See, watch us. And they grab Fenicus and they push him off the side and both, all of them fall into the webs and disappear into the darkness below. That was easy. <laughs> oh no. An elf got away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But Yuck Yuck and Spiderbeak got I away too. I can't resemble that remark. <laughs> but you're <laughs> half good. So... So I will need initiative from everybody, please. Even Jerry and Calliope. In initiative, because it shows like everyone on the tracker. Um, yeah. Doesn't matter. We can re-roll, but no. Well, the 
dudes already rolled when I put them on there. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Um, and then I want to make sure everybody's in the party sheet. Yep. Okay. All right. So, so Jerry and Clypey, up up until just a few moments ago, you guys were kind of they, they kind of got the jump on you with some drow sleep poisoned crossbow crossbow bolts a couple days ago. So up until you know, like not too long ago, you guys were a little bit groggy, but now you kind of come to your senses. You, you don't have you, you know you're tied up, got your hands tied in front of you, but you can either attempt to escape or or do something else creative uh, during your turn. All right. All right. So top of the order, round one. Oops. That's the wrong person. All right. So you guys see. Um, so let me tell you what you see. Uh, the two drow that are up in the front here, those guys look like hand to hand weapon wielding drow um actually the four the four in the front here kind of do the two in the back are definitely uh uh loath priestesses boy it got awful quiet <laughs> okay so top of the order uh which guy is this? Okay. Uh, oh, I got to look at this now. 60 feet, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30, 40, 40. Okay. So uh, this guy, Sure, Vandry, he pulls out a wand and he kind of flicks the wand and this glob comes sailing through the air at Utini. And Yay. that's and that's gonna miss. Uh and it, it it you see this Utini, you see this glob coming at you and it, it kind of flies through the air and it lands to the side of you and it, it kind of explodes in like this viscous, gooey, like web like substance. And I gotta change the Hey, you missed the half elf. Miss Hey. Well it would have improved your looks. <laughs> <laughs> Eldeth, you are up. Okay, I'm going to cast Bless. Okay. And um, Mr. DM, I don't think I have a PDF for Eldeth. So if you could a PDF? send me that, a PDF of her character sheet. You probably... she, never, she never had a character sheet. I'm I, The one that I sent you, I kind of ripped from... Uh, there's, oh, a, okay. there's a tool that does that. She used to be an NPC in the adventure. I made her a PC for you. Okay, so can you help me remember then how many characters I can bless? Three. Three. Okay. I shall bless Beavis, Utini, and Draculetta. Okay. Do you know how to drag you know how to drag that over to them? Um do okay. I just grab the little magnifying glass? Nope. If you if you open up your character sheet, the wonderful mm -hmm. fantasy grounds tool, if you expand out the uh, the um uh, magnifying glass on bless. See where it says effect, and it's got the little person. You drag that. Oh, yeah. You drag okay. that onto their. Uh, you drag that onto their entry in the combat tracker. Oh, in the combat tracker. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. or, or on the map, it works. Out. Uh, the map works as well too, and I believe you can even do it on the token up in the upper corner. But the combat tracker is the the combat tracker is where it will show up. Yeah, that that is correct. You did it right. Okay. Uh, you do have a movement action if you want to take it. Um, I will... Um, I'll stay where I am. Okay. All right. I have my weapons out. Okay. All right. Next up is one of the priestesses. And she is going to... Okay, she is going to cast a spell. All right, let's see. Oh, no, I can't do that. That'll kill Jerry. Uh, 
Well, we don't, my we hit don't, points we, haven't changed since the last time, so theoretically, oh. if I had been captured, I could have had some hit points regained. No, yeah, that yeah, you guys are at you guys are at full hit points. In fact, uh, make sure that you, yeah, you Jerry, you can you can um, you can put yourself at full hit points. In fact, make sure you make. Uh, did you guys were you guys keeping track of your hit points per level? Uh, nope. Yes. I, yeah, I looked at that earlier. I think it's correct, though. Okay. Yeah, you you two even uh, make sure that you're um, you took hit points for the next level for fifth level. I just I just dragged another barred thing over and it okay. automatically leveled okay. me to five and it set it out of the average. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. So I think what I'm gonna do is. I think I'm going to do a ranged. Oh, what's this? What's the range on that? Hold on. Oh, 120 feet, no problem. All right, I am going to do a guided bolt on Utini. Oh, and that's a miss too. That's depressing. All right. I know, right? <laughs> All right, and then. Want to be how I uh, how do I reset my points? I can't do it myself. Um, uh, where's the rest? You have to you have to do the um, no, just uh, where you it says wounds, the wounds to zero to zero. The current is just a display. You can't change that. Oh, okay. There you go. Cool. Yep. Okay. Um. Okay. The one of the other fighters is going to shoot a hand crossbow. Oh wait, what's the range on that? Oh, that's so. Is it dis? It's not. Is it disadvantage after thirty feet on a hand crossbow, or is yeah. it? Is it really disadvantage? Just, yeah, they have really terrible range. Oh, that stinks. All right, what's the range on this? Oh, well, let's do that instead. Um. Hey Beavis, did I double bless you? Uh, no, there, that's a, the, there's no way for you to do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's only it's only single. Um. Okay. You look uh, at the combat tracker on my character, and it shows you all the different effects that I have on me. Mm -hmm. He he is in fact double blessed. Double blessed. Oh, is he? I am. Oh, okay. Well, yes. hold on, I can change that. Doesn't. I don't think it matters, but. Uh, it might. There we go. All right, uh, Beavis, make a dexterity saving throw, please. Is this a spell or magical effect? It is. Then I have advantage. Okay. I have all the confidence it, in the world that you're going to fail. It's a de yeah. I mean, a dex save. Yeah, I can't make that. <laughs> well, give it a shot. Did you want to roll initiative for oh, um, the other three guys? They they should be in Shishar, the track. Google, yeah. They don't have. Any, oh, they they don't, have oh, any they don't. Oh, they don't. No, they don't. Okay. Hey, nice uh, nineteen. Yeah, that stinks. I uh, am very agile. He uh, he tried to do fairy. He tried to do fairy fire on you and it missed. Um, sure. Okay. Anyone who's within ten feet of me has advantage on saving throws against magic and magical effects because my holy sword creates a aura. Okay. Uh, okay, so Shashar's got a six. Stool has got a three. And Glabagool. <laughs> he gets minus four to his initiative roll. Ooh, 13. Okay, thanks for the catch. All right. Uh, where was I? Okay. Technically, that means you skipped Glabagool. Uh, you are below him currently in the order. Okay. I will. I don't know that he's going to do anything. Uh, he's going to hold. He'll, he'll hold his action. He goes, what's going on? Who's that? Uh, okay. And then uh, this drow here is... Uh, 
uh, he's also going to do fairy fire on you, Beavis. Why me? Look out, dear. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh another save. Probably has something to do with your... Oh, nature. and that is... Wait, a... sorry. That was that was disadvantage, not advantage. Oh, oh cheater. All right. You want me to roll again? Because I can't see the Yes, numbers. roll again. Oh, wait. Uh, the other roll was a 10. Yeah, so the other one. So what, to what was the total? 13. Damn it, that makes it by one. All right. Or two. Okay. Um, and yeah, they're, they're just, they're not going to do anything else. Okay, so then that one, X, uh, draw number two, he's going to, a Utini, he's going to do try to do fairy fire on you. Dex, Dex saving throw, please. With advantage. Uh, I made it by one. Wow, I only rolled a six. Naturally, All right. too. <laughs> All right. A plus. All right. Uh, yeah, plus yay. is freaking great. All right. Uh, Beavis, make a perception roll for me, please. Doesn't have to be in the tower. Okay. Do we get, does anybody else get to make a perception check? Um, sure. If you guys want to make one too, you can. Eldeth and actually Drac. Yeah, every, actually everybody can make one because there's a, a drow that jumped out from underneath the bridge in behind Beavis. And Beavis, he is going to get got a nineteen. Uh, do, 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 how many attacks does this guy get? Just the one. Does the 19 succeed in the perception check to see the drow? Uh, yes, you guys did see him. Cool. Hey, All Beavis, right. there's a drow behind you. Ow. And, I, I see. And I fumbled. Wait. Wait a minute. Where's my attack? Yep, I fumbled. And we, by the way, Jerry and Calliope, we do have the fumble and crit charts are turned on. Um, okay. So. Beavis, the draw behind you uh, fumbled, and his effect was Suicide Strike. You critically hit yourself with the same attack you fumbled with, receiving all negative conditions <laughs> and the attack. So, oh my. Oh, these guys this are... is going great so I far. I know, right? It's terrible. I, 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 this is awful. Critically hit himself for three? Yeah. That's it? That's it. Wow. That's <laughs> all right. terrible. He only did three damage? Yeah. All right. Utini, make a perception check. Another one? Yep. Right. To see if you notice the other drow just jump out from underneath the... Oh, yeah. You Hell, saw. yeah, I do. Natural 20, 23 right. total. He's right there. And he is going to also try to... I'm not even sure I'm worried about him hitting me. Um... Actually, he's not going to come out there. He's going to come out here. And because so then I don't have to have a disadvantage to shoot my hand crossbow at you. And that's a miss. God bless America. All right. And the last one jumps out at Glabagool. Or not Glabagool, sorry. Shushar. Because Shushar is an escaped prisoner. And he's going to attack him. And he's going to miss. These drow stink. Drac, you're up. Okay. Uh, what I wanted to do, I can't do. Because Calliope and Jerry the Cleric are in my way. Uh, See, I wonder if that was by design. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. uh, I can heal. It's all right. <laughs> you, you can totally put a cloud of daggers right in, in front of those guys. That's what I was planning on doing. Or just I don't, I don't put it behind them on top of the, the caster guys. Ooh, yeah. So what are you going to do, Drac? Hang on, hang on. 5, 10, 15, 20. Ooh, yeah, I'll do that. Okay, so if I move up 
Uh, Drow Four is going to get an attack of opportunity on me, right? He will. Do they get attacks of opportunity through using a hand crossbow? Um. Question mark. Do you need a melee? I don't. I like. I don't remember in fifth edition if you need a melee. Yeah. Weapon. Um. I, it, it's a it's a hand crossbow. It's not two handed cross. It's not a two handed crossbow. It's a one handed crossbow. So I'm assuming that his weapon is in his other hand. Okay. All right. Well. Uh, come at me, bro. As they explains say. why he's that. Well, that doesn't provoke attack or two if you stop there, right? Yes. He, he, well, he's going to get one if he passes by me. Any, either way. If you leave him, leave his area. He leave, but he has to leave his area, and he has not yet left that area. Uh, no, but he, he... Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. It's, it's leave, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, it's leave. Okay. Yeah, cool. this is fifth edition. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to drop down a cloud of daggers. Uh, uh, which square? I'm going to go right behind the two priestesses of drow in the back. You got the range? Um, low from the back. Uh, I think... Let me check my range on it. Hold on one second. I do have a cloud of daggers token. Let me verify that. 60 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 45, 50, 50, 50. Yep, just in range. Now, but now, how, uh, well, how many squares is that? See, it's um, not letting me, it's not letting me increase the size of this token very easily. It is a cube five feet on each side, centered on a point I choose. Okay. So are you, so you would have to center it on one or the other. Yep. Uh, Top or bottom. Centered, uh, bottom. So the way that it, the way that it has read to me is that you pick like an intersection, and then it's five feet or on each side around that. So you end up with a ten by ten. That's how I've been reading it, but I'm not sure. Because if you fill the air with a spinning dagger in a cube at five feet on each side, centered on a point you choose within range. Right, so it says it sounds like it's supposed to be a five foot radius, okay. like cube. right there. Okay, yeah, so, so yeah. Then, it would, then it would hit the four squares. It's just a one, it. I think it's just a okay. one square cube. I thought. Yeah, it's one. It says, square. On, it says on each. See, side. but that, but that's ten. That's a ten foot square, though. That it would affect. That's why. Yeah, I, that's, five by five by five. I mean, it's yeah. It's yeah, a cube, but it's five there. feet on each side, centered around a point. Centered on a point, I choose. So that's five, a five foot radius, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. I mean, I'm, all right, I'll allow it. I but anyway, okay, okay, all right. So those guys, uh, creature is going to take a forty-four slashing damage when it enters the spell's area for the first time. Are they start their turn there? Okay. So the f hang on. Uh, Want to see if they have. No, I guess they don't. I guess they nerf Drow a little bit for 5th edition. Didn't they kind of nerf, like, everything in 5th edition? Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, so do they take damage now or on their turn? When they, let's see, uh, when they enter the spell area for the first time are, a, are on a turn, are they start its turn there? Okay. So on their turn, they will take the damage. Yes. So they will take damage. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, that's all I am going to do. Okay. Utini. Oh boy. Uh, let's see. One rage. Er. Frenzy rage. Okay. And then, uh, hey Beavis, do you want the front guys or the back guys? I don't care. I was going to charge straight up, but you can do what you want. Uh, that's fine. Uh, let's uh, start uh, getting rid of some of these guys then. I'm going to step to there diagonally, so I'm next to draw three. Okay. And we're going to recklessly attack this guy with my flaming battle axe. I'm, I'm going to guess the 27 is going to hit. Yeah, that's going to hit him. All right. And then, so that will do 15 <laughs> points of damage. Yeah, these guys are the plebes. And <clears throat> I believe, uh, so I get to, because you can move and keep, you can keep moving and break up your attack actions, right? Yeah, but if and you're going to move, get, if you're going to move down and try to attack the one below there, that's going to be at a minus two, I'm going to say. So click the minus two. Okay. Uh, 
click the minus two, dude. My question is why? Is that what you were going to try and do? Move. Yeah, I'm just yeah. asking why the minus two. Um, just changing targets and moving at the same time. That's how I've been doing it. Okay. Well, we'll attack him anyways. Uh, and 423. Mm -hmm. And he takes 15 damage as well. Okay. All right. We all know who the target's going to be. All right. Are you done? Uh, yes. I will be done. Be this. Oops. Sorry. Well, my turn? Mm hmm. Okay. Yep. And I'm going to scream. Hold on a second. 5, Blade 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. You got yeah, that? That's a double move. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not going to get to attack, but I'm screaming and yelling at them. Okay. I'm going to kill you. I, I highly suggest you surrender. You draw this and that. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. I, basically, I'm done, yeah. All right. All right. Shushar's turn. All right. So Shushar is going to take his spear and try to stab the drow. And he does so with, and that's a hit. And for a pacifist, he does a whole two points of damage. And Calliope. That's me. Um. So am I like chained up, or am you are, I? You are. You are tied. You are tied up. Um. You may attempt a uh, sleight of hand check. Uh, the DC is seventeen to hmm. slip out of your bonds, or. If you can convince me, you can do something tied up. Well, actually, I was hoping that maybe I could turn to one of these drow behind me and use my persuasion to persuade them to untie me. Um, that's not a magical thing. They're already they're already in they're already considered a hostile enemy. So, using persuasion as a skill that's not gonna that's not gonna work. It was worth a try. I have a plus seven to persuasion and only a plus two to slate of hand. Uh, do you want this in the tower or not? No, you can roll it out. I attempt to wriggle free from my bonds. And you I fail. I think they feel a little bit looser, though. That's pretty close. I'll, if you want to try to get next round, I'll give you a plus one. Okay. Okay. Jerry. All right. So, um... So I am wondering if I have the ability to cast spiritual weapon. It's verbal and somatic, so it does involve some level of hand components. But am I free enough in order to be able to cast spiritual weapon? Uh, to do somatic spells, no. You would have to slip out of your bonds to do those. All right, then I guess I'm just going to do that. You said basic strength check, right? Uh, no, sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. Oh, and... Never mind. That was strength. Oh uh, well, well I'll let, I mean, I'll let you keep the roll. What was your what's your slight what's your sleight of hand? Plus one, so that would have been a seventeen. So so Jerry, you take your turn, and you're able to. Now that they're the drow are in combat against your com compatriots, you're able to stealthily slip out of your 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 bonds this turn. Spiritual weapons a bonus action. I'm just saying. Any chance of casting that too? I'll give it to you. All right, cool. Well, hey, hey, so I'm going to cast spiritual weapon. Um, create a floating spectral weapon within range, last for the duration until I cast the spell again. Yep. Um, and I even got the I even got the I even got the spiritual yeah. weapon token. Here we go. Okay, so where are you going to cast it? Well, uh, why don't I put it uh, kind of off? To the right here. Uh, the guy dry, directly in front of you or drown number two? Well, it's between drown number two and sure Vondry. Okay, like right there? Well, I thought I'd put it because it is a five 
I, I, usually, I usually I usually scale it down a little bit because it, it's hard to put two tokens in the same square. Okay. Yeah, whatever you want to do, that's fine. Okay. I'm going to attack sure with it. Is oh. what I'm going to do. Oh, okay. Melee attack. Okay. Go ahead. Well, I'm just trying to figure out how to actually cast this. Okay. There you go. Um, hang on. I got to look at You didn't drag it onto him, so I got to look at his armor class here. Uh, that is going to miss. Okay. Yep. I got it uh, set up now. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, that's it with my turn, though. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where were you? Oh, and stool. All right. Stool. Oops, uh, I pushed it by accident and zoomed past stool. Oh, okay. That's fine. I can click okay. stool again. Okay. So, stool. Uh, I, most of you guys can't see. I, well, you saw stool before. He forms a little fist on top of his head, and then he waddles over here and tries to swing at the draw with the fist. Leave my friend alone. And he hits. <laughs> oh, jeez. And he does a lot of ones for damage. All right, and then that's going to be... All right, so top of the order, round two. Sure. He notices the spiritual hammer. He hears you casting the spell. He turns around. And he looks at you, and that was a mistake, human. And he takes, he's had that wand in his hand, and he hits you, attempts to hit you with that wand. He doesn't need to hit me for me to acknowledge that's a mistake. <laughs> oh, a natural 20. <laughs> oh. oh, but the critical hit generated was not a blank. So now the good news is this one doesn't do damage, but you are, re the glob hits you and it, and you are uh, restrained for one hour. Okay. So you are literally got this glob of viscous substance. It hits you and immediately hardens, and you're completely restrained. There is no oh, safe. Good thing you cast spiritual weapon then. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's a good thing you got it off while you did. All right. So that is going to be his turn. Aldeth. Okay. So um, as I said in the last turn, I did take out my weapon. Okay. So um, for Calliope and Jerry, what that looked like was basically a lightsaber. Oh, that's right. Coming, coming to life. Um, and where, you know what? Where? Hang on a second. Okay. Is that going to, is that going to, did we determine that that was going to um, cause the drow a problem because of the light? I don't think we yes. saw the last time. But... No, yeah. Okay. So it, so it does bright light in a 15 foot radius. So if you're within 15 feet of a drow, they're going to, their sunlight sensitivity is going to be in uh, turned on. And I'm not because they're dead. So. Well, the other ones, the here ones here are, but it's basically 15 feet diameter around you now. That's, um, let's see if we did a 15 foot, uh, that's 10, that's 15. Okay. So I grab that. So it's a, so, it's a weapon called Dawnbringer. That they found last time. Yep. So I'm going to run forward. Okay. Towards shore. Okay. And, so go and ahead. I get one attack when as I come towards him. Well, it depends. Well, what's your what's your movement? Um, I mean, if you're going to come 25. next to me. Twenty-five. Okay, so five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. That only gets you to here. You'd have to do a double move to get. Right up next to be this. Okay, I will do that then. Okay, so go ahead and move yourself, and I will move the. There you go. So then, now everybody in that is going to be under the effects of sunlight. Mm hmm. <laughs> well, that's... And then I can't attack unless I have a bonus action, but I don't. Uh, yeah. So you're done. 
I think so. I don't think I she has any bonus actions. Okay. I, I don't know. All right. Uh, so then the other priestess. Uh, okay, uh, Drac, go ahead and do damage. Mm hmm. Um, why is it not letting me grab my D4? Oh, there it goes. Uh, what did I say that was? 4D4? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We should be able to grab it right off the spell. Right? Yeah, I'm trying. It's not letting me for some reason. That's what I got to figure out why it's not. Oh, I see why. Duh, because I'm dumb. That's why. Which I, was, one I wasn't going to say anything. Going... <laughs> <laughs> the, bo the, going? the bottom The bottom one. Bottom one, okay. Yep. Okay. All right. So she is going to take two steps back out of the sunlight. And she is going to cast a spell of her own. And she is going to have... I wonder, can, I, uh, can I make these pointers a different color? I guess I can't, huh? Is it uh, 15 foot as well? We, I think it's just your dice color, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I guess I'm stuck with red. All right. So you, I mean, Someone else can make one if you want. No, no, that's fine. So around her, you suddenly see a swirl of fiendish demons around her. And um, let's see. An affected creature speed is half in the area when the creature enters the area for the first time or on a turn it starts its turn there. It must make a wisdom save with you. Okay. All right. So you see these swirling, the swirl of fiendish demons flying around uh, the, the, the priestess. And that is going to be her turn. Oh, uh, I haven't gotten to them yet. Usually on their turn, I declare them dead. It's just an easier way for me to keep track of it. All right, then the next priestess, uh, Drac, go ahead and do your damage on her, the top one. All right, will do. Okay, and she's going to take a step, a couple steps backwards as well out of the cloud of daggers. And she is going to cast uh, let's see. Hmm. She doesn't care about her uh, her boys. Uh, what's the 20, 20 foot radius? Oh my goodness. There we go. All right. In that 20 foot radius, an insect plague appears. Uh, when the area appears, each creature in it must make a constitution saving throw. A creature uh, or take damage. Um, and that it's going to be... Uh, so, Calliope, Jerry, Eldeth, and Beavis. A constitution saving throw, please. We all have advantage. Uh, you didn't have to roll in the tower, Jerry. Uh, go ahead and roll again. Oh, no, wait, Jerry, you made it. Sorry, you made it. So do I, I click on advantage or do I click on the plus two? No, you click on advantage. Okay. Okay, and Beavis, you made it. Calliope, you made it. And, oh, you all made it. That's depressing. Um, take half damage? Uh, creature, oh, you take half damage. So anybody who made it takes half damage. Uh, so, Beavis. 
There we go. Holy crap. And That's 21 is half? Yep. Oh, and Eldeth, you're you did make a you did make a concentration check, so your so your bless is still in effect. All right. Yeah, this is a fifth level cleric spell. Oh, Jerry just took a pounding, and Calliope also. Ooh. Ow, took, ow. Uh, is that half? Hold on a minute. No, that didn't. I'm okay, hold, it didn't have hold on. It did not have anything. Now that, that's the problem. Okay, so so Beavis, give yourself back. Um, uh, give yourself back twelve. Eldeth, give yourself back. Um, oh wait, no, I'm sorry. Beavis, give yourself back ten. Eldeth, give yourself back twelve. Uh, Jerry, give yourself back 15, and, and Calliope, give yourself back 14. Sorry about that. I... Me too. <laughs> Not to say, because like, if we failed our saves, we all would have been dead. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> so my bad. Uh, double check your hit points. All right. And Glabagool's turn. Glabagool, do not hurt my friends. And Glabagool strikes out at the, where did Glabagool go? Oh, here he is. Uh, he's going to do a pseudopod attack on that drow. And he misses. He misses. He only gets one attack. All right. Jor, uh, oh, he's got to make a save. Because he's in the insect. <laughs> and uh, Drow 1 and yeah, Drow 2 got to yep. take damage. Yeah, to, right? yeah. Uh, well, uh, Drow, yeah, when I get to their turn, I was going to do it because it's easier for me. Oh, right? well, we all took it right now. Yeah, you took it right now. So, so on his turn, he is going to have to make a con save. And he made it. So he's going to take half. Um, so he's going to take, take 12. Um, okay, so he took that. And on his turn, Beavis, he is going to... Make two short sword attacks on you. So one, and that's a nineteen. That's going to be a hit. Uh, and... wait. Oh yeah. Okay. You said nineteen, but it's a roll. Uh, twenty-six. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a twenty-six. All right. You're going to take twenty points of damage. What? And uh, from a single short sword attack. Uh, yeah. Because three d six of that for the first attack. Has poison. Well, I do have resistance to poison. No, it's it's just stuff. it's 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 poison damage, not a poison. Yeah, damage. I have. Res I'm a dwarf. I have resistance to poison. Okay, so you're gonna take. Uh, hang on. So then you will take six less than that. So fourteen. And that was the first attack. Second um, attack. I, I don't know what my wounds are supposed to be at now. I mean, okay. So, did you add back? I, well, I added back for the insect plague. I didn't do anything for this attack. Okay, so sure. so add back add back six for this. So then you're gonna have, uh, so then your wounds will be twenty seven. And this attack will not have poison on it because he only gets that on the first one, and that is another hit. Uh, oh, they didn't separate it. Why didn't they separate it? 
Okay, 1d6 plus 4. Alright, take another 7. All right. Done. Alright. And that's his turn. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, He's going to take the AOO, so go ahead and go ahead and take it. He's going to move. Who? What? Where? He's going to move. He's going to go like this. So go ahead. Oh, and that take, guy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So take your attack up. So his turn. Okay. Yep. Now that's a hit. Thirty. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a hit. Yeah. And I'm going to smite his ass. Okay. So take that. Start with, okay, and hold on. Let me, oh, let me find my smite. I think I can just smite on my reaction. I hope. Yeah. Right? No, that that. Uh, okay. Yeah, that worked. Okay. Oh, he is he not a fiend or undead? He takes nope. Extra. He's just a draw. Okay. All right, and he's gonna go five, ten, fifteen, twenty. He'll go right there. All right, he is done. Drow number Question. yes. The drow that are so the the castery person has something that's like going around herself. Yes, like that is that affecting the other drow in no. that space? No. Okay. All right, because uh, it doesn't affect her allies. Okay, so drow number one. Bleh. Drow number two. Uh, I'm not even going to bother the insect please. Well. Hold on. Oh, he might be alive if he makes a save. Uh, do, do, do. Nope, he's dead. All right, uh, that guy's dead. And that guy's dead. And that leaves this guy. And he's going to... Shushar, and he's gonna miss. Draculetta. All right, I am. Now let's see. Uh, the the stuff up front is just the white, right? <clears throat> I'm sorry. One more time. The circles that are up front of these. So, guys. so the big the big circle is an insect plague. Okay. The little circle is Eldeth's uh, okay. sunlight, and the back one, it's no secret, it's a spiritual guardian. Right, okay. So I don't want to walk through the insect plague, but okay. Uh, I'm going to go right here, just at the edge of it, correct? Okay. Uh, I am going to reach up to my necklace. I'm going to pull the little ball off of my necklace. Okay. And I'm, and I'm going to just chuck it up in the air so it does a really high arc and it's going to land right behind these caster guys. Okay. And that, my friend, is a fireball. I kind of figured you were going to do that. Now, <laughs> what? See, now, unlike the spell, you do have to toss that thing. Right. So, what are the fifth edition grenade rules? Anybody know? That I don't know off the top of my head. I, I didn't know there were grenade rules. Yeah, I think there are. Hold Can on. I get some grenades? <laughs> <laughs> Holy hand grenades? I mean, I'm a pack. Uh, hang on. I would see. just say uh, basic uh, dex like I, to hit, basic I was range say attack. A dex, yeah. I've always kind of assumed it was a, a dex to hit a space. Right? Like well, you're, and that's you're aiming, you're aiming at a you're aiming at space, but there's like a difficult right. if you're like depending on if you're like lobbing it over something. There's kind of a, well, let me that's see. How if, I've always played it. Let me see if my if the necklace itself says anything. See, I uh... I think it's just letting you cast fireball, but who the hell knows? Right? Yeah, no, the fifth just, edition doesn't go into detail, unfortunately. Uh, I'm yeah, yeah, I'm kind of doing a quick Reddit search here. I really don't. 
I would probably say, yeah, just a, I mean, that would make sense to me just to do like a dex. Yeah. Um, Since I am like throwing. Oh, here, like we, said, oh, here we go. Hold on. It's actually not the. I think I finally figured it out. It's not the. Uh, actual spell. Okay, if it's a, if it's something that he's throwing, uh, I would like looking at a dart. The range is sure. 20, 60, right? So. If you're going beyond 20 feet, that would be harder. Well, and that's the thing. He's trying to throw it pretty know. far. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm at the range because it says I can throw those beads 60 feet. So I'm at the 60 feet range. Right. I'm throwing it at 60 feet too. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just I'm just, yeah. Ways. Yeah. But it is a magic item. It's not like there's range bracket. It's true. Thing. Right. Okay. I'm just I'm throwing a little bead. All right. So which which square are you trying to throw it into? I'm going to go. Let's see. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. As far as you can throw it is the is as far as they they are. Right. A Ashra. Exactly. Yeah, so but he, yeah, but if it's a fireball, it's a uh, thirty feet. You're going to get Jerry and Calliope. Uh, it's a twenty foot range. Each creature it's still hitting. it's still gonna get them. Is it? It's, yeah. it's a shame. Shame that you're hitting Jerry. No, it's gonna get <laughs> all of us. I mean, literally every single one of us. Yeah. yeah, I mean, look look at how big the insect plague is. That's a twenty foot radius. Shoot, you're right. Um, all right, cancel that then. Cancel that. Cancel. Okay. Um, ba, ba, ba. then let me see what my range on that is. These insects are flying all in front of you. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Jump in the water, yeah. jump in the water. There is no water. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just going to Eldritch Blast this guy then because I can't do what I want to do because that's a stupid insect. The one straight across? Yep. Okay. I mean, you could always Eldritch Blast the one who cast insects, Plague. Well, she cast Spiritual Guardian, so... Yeah. yeah. That's a hit. A good hit. Oh, and that was some good damage. All right. Uh, anything else, Drac? Uh oh, hang on, my sound cut out. Stupid Discord. Okay, anything else, Drac? Oh crap! Yeah, I do have to make a concentration check. You're right. Oh, she Ooh. does. She does. She does. Uh, well, yeah, but I do too because huh? my 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 blades a concentration. No, no. You didn't get hit. You, you didn't, didn't get hit. hit. No, oh, no, that's true. No, you didn't get hit. All right, so the concentration check is what? But you're right. She does. You drag the damage onto her, right? It didn't automatically yes, roll it? I did. No, it didn't. I uh, figured fuck. it would. Oh, no. I uh, No. All right. Hold on. Let me find her. Hold on. Uh, do, 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 do. Here we go. All right. But yeah, that's right. They changed that, too. It's only when you get hit. Yep. All right. So concentration. Uh, she doesn't have I, actually, no. No, she doesn't. <laughs> Why? Spiritual weapon, right? That's what she cast? No, spiritual guardian. Spiritual Guardian, yeah. Yeah. No, she did Spiritual Guardian. Um, <laughs> that is concentration. Yeah. I have a question. I know for sure that's concentration. Yes. Did, so she, one of the so one of those drow is casting the Spiritual Guardians, the other one is casting the insect thingy? That is correct. Yeah, they're both casting something. Yeah, they're both priestesses of love. Of love. Just, yeah, yeah, I just... For a minute there, I thought they were both casting. The like one no. was casting both. And then, wait a minute. No, that is a big negative. Okay, page 203. All right. Uh, where is this here? Concentration. All right, casting, okay, taking damage. When you take damage while you are concentrating a spell, you must be a constitution saving throw to maintain your concentration. The DC equals 10 or half the damage you took. Half the damage you take, whichever is higher. 
So What's, I did 12 damage to So it. she needs to do a con, DC 12 con check. 10. Mm-hmm. 10. Or 10. No, whichever's higher. So it has to be 12. Yeah, it's half 12. the damage. Oh, half. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it is 10. Oh, You're right. So, so it'll be 10, yeah, because half would be six. All right, so con saving throw. Oh, that is a fail. So bye-bye. Uh... That's going to remove them all. How do I get rid of just one? Um, just drag it away out of there. Yeah, I think I might have to. <laughs> Way to go, Drac. All right. Yeah. Oh, here we I go. I do what I can, you know. All right. So <laughs> that, that that's not cool. <laughs> all right. Uh... Okay. Asha, Asha, she's our man. If she can't do it, great. Utini, you suddenly have no opponents. Oh, I disagree. <laughs> okay. I disagree. Bun- uh, let's see. Why do you look at me when you say that? <laughs> I'm looking at you. It's not all about you. You're not that pretty. Ooh. <laughs> Well, um, actually, you, actually, you, she you, is. But you can, uh, <laughs> you can, uh, you know, my dad. So uh, you can double move, uh, not in a straight line, right? Correct. Okay. By the way, by the way, Calliope, um, the gelatinous cube Glabagul has a higher intelligence than Utini does. Well, duh. <laughs> That's why he's making those types of comments. Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> so. My speed is 40. Yep. So I am going to... See, Ilvara is the one that casts the thing that's going on right now. Is that right? Uh, no. The Jorland was the one that cast the Insect Plague. Got it. So I can move 40. So I can get... I can go up two squares and across all the way to him through the insect plague yes okay so by going through the insect plague you must make a constitution saving throw no problem big as i roll a four, uh, 14 and no no you have advantage if you're if you're within i'm not within 10, 10 feet. feet well no when you first when no, you first made you in, no when he first when he first could, yeah well, when he, yeah which I, I can't tell there's yeah, circles you're, up there. you're still gonna. Which one's what? You're still gonna take. You're still gonna take half damage. Fine. So you take eight points of damage. Uh, what kind of damage is it? It is magical biting damage, magical piercing damage. I have resistance piercing currently. Does this apply? Uh, so you would take four points of damage. Excellent. Uh, so that was my move and set it action. As my bonus action, I'm going to attack him. Because I am frenzy raging. Okay. So, uh, I attack with a 29. Okay. And he will take... 16 points of damage and probably needs to make a concentration check. Okay. And it's going to have to be 10 or more. Let's get him up here. He makes it. Boo. That was really shot. <clears throat> so, okay. Um, is that it for you? Uh, yeah, I think we'll call that a win. Okay. Uh... Okay. Beavis. Now, if you end your turn in the Insect Plague, you will take another 4d10. You have to make another save or take 4d10 damage. Okay. So I'm just going to run out of it. Okay. Um, although I kind of want to know where that stupid blade thing is. It does, it's those, all it, those four squares there? Yes. If you pass through any uh, one of those, because Drac hasn't dismissed it. So okay. if you, hey, you Beavis, pa- can I offer you a suggestion? Yeah. Hey, no metagame. Before you run out, swing at the guy at in that front guy. of him. Yeah, that's yeah, I know. I should. Okay, fine. I'm gonna I'll yeah, attack but, that. Yeah, dude. but Jerry's hammer's gonna take care of him. 
<laughs> Jerry's hammer can move. Okay, go ahead. What are you gonna do? Yeah, yeah, I'll attack him. Okay. It just make because I mean he he's going to attack me, or if I run away from him, so. Okay. Twenty nine. Yeah, that's a hit. And I'm gonna smite. Okay. All right. And smite. Hold on. Smite damage. Okay. That hurt. He's still up, though. And he is. And here's my next attack. Uh, 29. Yeah. And here's another smite. And this one's a level 2. Okay. And he's still standing? Oh, yeah. Son of a... Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, bonus action. It's okay. The bugs will kill him. That's what I'm thinking. So, for a bonus action, can I drink a potion? Uh, do you have a shield? Yeah? No. Well, shit. So, one, two... Three, hey, wrong token. Four. Crap. Just keep, just keep counting, then move me later. Well, oh, right there. All right, he's he gets an AOE on you. Yeah, he does. Okay. Actually, here. Sure does. Put put yourself right here, because he gets that before you even get out of that square. Because you might not um, get. Well, no, no, no. I'm going through her square, going diagonal down here, down okay. here, and this is yeah, where he would get the attack. Okay, right here is where he'd get it. Yeah. Okay, okay, but what kind of attack is it? Attack of opportunity. Melee or what? Yes. Okay, then he's going to get disadvantage. Why? Because um, I have the ability to... Right yeah, I have a lightsaber. Oh. But then I also have... Um, uh, that, that, that's... Uh, he needs to make... He can make a... He has to make a wisdom save to, to, to do that. What's the other reason? I have the... I have a the... Be Ability to protect person who's within five feet of me. But when he leaves that square to get the AOE, he's not within five feet of you. See, when he's in this square, he's fine. When he moves from this square to this square is when he gets the AOE. Okay. So, but he still, you are correct. He does have to make a wisdom saving throw. Um, but what is the DC? I guess is my question. Whatever her spell save DC is, right? Well, it's the weapon. I mean, I'm going to look at the weapon. Oh, the weapon. Yeah, I'm going to see what the... Um, doesn't say. What's your what's your wisdom bonus, Eldeth? Um, my my plus wisdom two? bonus two? Two. Okay. So I'm going to say it's a DC 12. Because it's your will that's powering the sword. Yep. Uh, so that wouldn't... All right, wisdom saving throw. He makes it. So... Beavis... Did this, is this the guy that attacked you before with the poison? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, that's a miss. Okay, and you're out of the insect plague. Shushar. He's going to take an attack on that drow, and he's going to miss. Calliope. Okay, I have two questions. Okay. I want to cast healing word that is verbal only, so I think I can do that even if I'm tied. Yes, you can. And let me make sure I'm with it. It's also a bonus seconds. action, right? We found out from my other game that bards can do quite a bit more during a turn than normal people, normal characters can do. So yes, that is a bonus action. Excellent. Um, and how do I cast? Is there anything I can do to cast this at a higher, at third level instead of second, or instead of first? Um, 
Probably most spells in the game you can. No, not all of them. Uh, well, it does say like it does say at higher, oh, higher level, levels. Yep. A spell, you can a spell slot of second level or higher. The healing increase. But so, I don't know how to do that. So if so if you cast it with a second level slot, it's two d four. If you cast it with a third level slot, it's three d four. How Probably, do I cast you'll just have it with to, a third level slot? You have just cast you, it and then we and then roll an extra well, d four. Yeah. No, no, no. You don't have to. If you drag. If you like, grab the uh, little plus sign for the healing, and you right click, it adds dice. Say what? That's yeah, fun. it's it's just like for it's just like spell grab, it does that. Like if you want to cast like, a fireball at higher yeah. level, yeah, you just yeah. grab the damage, right click, and it. It's like it's like add, it's like adding it's like adding dice to a regular dice. Right. It, Another it, fantasy it, ground feature. So I'm picking right. yeah because I'm picking it off your sheet right now. So I have the dice. In the air, and I right click, it adds more dice. Yep, and then you just drop it on the target. Yeah, do you see that? That's neat. Yeah, it's pretty uh, slick. I'm not getting the, it adding dice. But... Okay, I, you, I was... you have it dragged, so like you drag don't, it and you see the dice, and then right click. And then right click. While you're holding it with one mouse button, click the other mouse button. Oh, and I just click the other mouse button two more times. You, you want that? Yeah. Yeah, you want yeah, you want to make it 3 and then yeah, then you can cast that. Okay. And I am casting healing word on Beavis. Beavis is the most grievously wounded, yes? Oh yeah. <laughs> I took it hard. Okay. There you go, Beavis. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Now, oh. now there if you wanted to Calliope, you could stand up. Oh, I'm 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 sitting down bound. Mm -hmm. I'm not Standing bound? Yeah. You, you gotta get out of the insect plague. I am standing up. Okay. Am I st I'm still bound? Yes. Okay, so you want a sleight of hand check? If you want to try to, if you want to use your action to do that, you may. You still have a move okay. action. But, yeah. Are her feet tied? Can she, can she Yeah, no, that's why I said her feet weren't tied. They oh, were just... can I just run out of the insect cloud? You could, yes. But okay. you can't, if you wanted to double move, that would take your action. But yes, you could. And okay. since this guy's already taken one AoE, he can't take another one this turn. Well, I mean, if I can run out of the insect cloud, that's all the action I need. So yeah, I'll absolutely run back move. to Drag, he might be able Yeah, to you can run back out. towards Drag. You can, you can get out, you can move 60. So you could run back towards Drag, and then he could help untie you. 30, 40, 50... Okay, I am back here behind. I wish I had known I could just run out of it. Before. Well, you guys were kind of kneeling down, restrained, like restrained and and down. Now Jerry, on the other hand, got hit by the wand of of uh, yep. goob. He's goobed, <laughs> yeah. so he's not going anywhere. So, a question about that: yep. uh, What are the odds that I touch to myself to the point I can cast a cure spell on myself outside of healing mode? Ooh. Like a wait, touch wait, heal. You like when I when I when you think about it, you touch yourself. Okay, um, sure. <laughs> I I'll I to be honest, I'll I, I'll I'll let it go. As the bard, would you like me to sing? I touch myself for you. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, I'm hearing that in my head. Dun, 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 All right. Dun, dun, so dun. Uh, on my oh. action, I'm going to do okay. a cure wounds on myself as okay. a second spell for two d eight. Okay. Yay for two points. Yeah, because uh, you have, and actually I can. Oh, uh, plus my uh, spellcasting ability modifier, which is wisdom, so another eight points. Yeah, because you plus, actually. No, okay. pl plus your uh, life cleric bonus. Yeah, if you're a life cleric, that, that's one of the things that you have to adjust on your spells, Jerry, if you're um, with a life cleric, because the system doesn't do that automatically. Uh, but I don't... What does that actually get me, though? Uh, if you look under... Adds your uh, wisdom to your cure spells, I think. Uh, no, no, yeah, it's on it's, top of that. I think oh, it's more, I think it's more than that, yeah. Something like that, yeah, I don't remember. Yeah. So, life... Okay, so well, cure We could deal with it later, but I don't see anything in there about... No, nope, it's if you look under life domain... Uh, oh, wait, um, hold on a second here. Oh, excuse me. Uh, 
Disciple of Life, I believe, is oh no, Blessed Healer. That's it. Oh yeah, there you oh, go. Oh wait, no, that's sixth level. Hold on. Maybe it's it is the... Disciple of Life. Okay, is the it... creature regains an additional hit points yep. equal to two plus the spell's level, so that would be an additional four on top of that. Yep. And then you get more at sixth level. Nice. But you have to but you have to okay. manually add that to the spell. So if you click the magnifying glass and you go have to go in there and kind of add it manually. Bonnie always yeah. had to do that with her when she was doing it. Right, sure, well, hey, that's if cool. If you're casting it as a level two spell, you would get a little more than. Yeah. Right? I think yeah. you, already did, you yeah. already did that. I already did that, though. All right. So that's my action. So I'm not getting out of there. So if things are going to bite me to death, they may well bite me to death. Although at least now I stand a chance of it. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is I can have as a uh, bonus action, my spiritual weapon can attack. So yes, I'm going I can. to have an attack Sure Vandry. What does the restrained condition give you? I know it's... I'll look it up. Okay. Um, I'm not sure why that attacked with disadvantage, Jerry. You might have had that... You might have had that checked by mistake. No. I just dragged the attack... Oh, it's because... Oh, oh. Over too sure. It's because you're restrained. That's why. Oh, um, uh, okay. But, but the weapon doesn't attack... You shouldn't have that penalty against you. Um, so the, your first roll, it dropped a 15. So 15 plus 3 is 18. That would have hit. So go ahead and drag damage. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be a, a glitch in the system. Okay. Yep, you're good. All right. And that is my turn. All right. To answer your question. <gasps> no, uh, my goal Restrained. Oh, there we go. Yes. Uh, restrained is speed becomes zero. You can't benefit from any bonuses to speed. Okay. Uh, attack rolls against the creature have advantage, and the creature's attack rolls have disadvantage, and you have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. So you can actually move around. No, your speed right. is zero. Your speed is zero. You, that was you the first thing you said. You can go somewhere, but you can then, move with it. Like you're not immobilized, if that makes sense. Okay, so could I still. So you can still drag? attack. Right. Yes, you can attack. You just you can move. still swing a weapon. You just can't leave your square. Yeah. So you you can do things that require moving around. Okay, but but in like addition mo- to be like motion, but in addition to be goobered up with this by this wand, he's also still tied up. Sure, that's fine. I'm just the, the in reference to the restrained part. Yeah, but he, yeah, he did. Himself. Yeah, he did earlier. Oh, that's right. He uh, did untie himself. You did untie yourself, yeah. Jerry. I, f- I totally forgot that. Okay. But so the answer to his question. No, but I still got like, hit by the goo. Spell, yeah. If, if he has answered the question, can you use the spell on myself? Yes, you absolutely can. Yeah. That, I, yeah. I, I would, so. Honestly, I would be a DM call on that, though. No, I, no I'll, let it, tied, I'll let it go. You're not doing a ritual. No, but you, again, no, but you untied. No. You, no, but you did untie yourself. This is true? Yeah. No, so, you're go- so you just can't move. You're like goobered to this spot. So maybe as I was freezing in goo, I made sure to have a fingertip touch my chest in case I needed to self heal. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Through years there, of cleric training. Yes. There are other conditions that make it so you can't attack and do stuff like yeah. that, right? In the meantime, Stool is going to try to attack this drow here. Oh, man, what a terrible battle that is over there. All right. And all right. So that is going to be the end of round four. Top of the order. Is that guy? Yeah, that's the end of round three. We're in round four, right? Oh yeah, we're in round four. Sorry. Yeah. All right. So top of the order, this guy, and uh, let me see. You know what, Eldeth, take your attack of opportunity. Oh, okay. Does Jerry also get an attack of opportunity? Jerry, not, Jerry doesn't have a weapon. Yet. He doesn't have a weapon in his hand. Oh, that's going to be a hit. All right. Okay. And he's and he's still not dead. No, this is the best fighter, and he's going to take two attacks on Beavis. And I can't tell anymore. Is the score that he's in in the poisoning cloud? Uh, not. Oh, the, yeah, he's going to take it. Oh wait. Uh, hold on. Nope, that's a good I point. I don't think it is. Hold on. He's still in my cloud, though. He's going to take five more feet. There we go. 
But now he's in the now blaze. He's in a cloud of daggers. Oh crap! Hold on, you're right. <laughs> Damn it, Trek. Um, I don't think that square is part of that. No, he oh, that yeah, he that's that square is on both. So he hang on. So he's got to make. So he's got to make a wisdom save. First, uh-huh. well, I'm looking at the one that's by me. Okay, he made the wisdom. He made the wisdom. Should save. be reciprocal of that. So it, well, he made the he made in, he made not. the wisdom save. If he's in this yeah. square at the end of his turn, he's going to take insect damage. Not the end of his no, turn. No, he's yet. not. That's I don't think he is. Move move him off of that square, and I bet you it's not red. From or at least from the yeah, the well, one. he is red though. Whatever. You're, 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 no, I mean, no, I no, no, it, no, it it is red. I'm on right. my screen. It's the line is of, it's red because of Eldis. Thing, not because of the insect thing. Because if you look at the square that's to the right of me, oh, uh, yeah, the big it's, one is the, it's the yeah, yeah. The big one is missing the square that he is in. No, not on my screen. On my screen, both of those lines are going through the center of that square. Right, but the square. Look at the square that's to the right of my square, and it's not. There's nothing yeah, there. There it's is no. Turn. There isn't. That that's just the way that the the that's yeah. just the way the game generates a radius. Whatever. I'm going. I'm going by what the what the interface says. All right, so he made his he made his wisdom save, so he's not a disadvantage. He's going to attack. Uh, he's in he's in bright light, so no, no, that was the wisdom save. Oh, that was the wisdom save. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, he, wait, you have to save against that. Yep. Don't Dro have a natural nope. thing against Draw they, walking they around? Do, but he can be stronger. So. Yep. Oh, and uh, a critical hit on Beavis. Oh my gosh, here we go, and so that would be a crit hit on Beavis. Critical hit. Turn the tide. In addition to standard critical hit damage your tar- of your target, you gain combat advantage against all enemies on the battlefield until the end of your next turn. Nice. Excellent. All right. So let's get that crit damage out of the way first. Um, you know what? I mean, this is not going to, this is not going to, uh, shoot, this is not going to generate correctly because of the stupid poison thing. Hold on a second. So I'm just going to. So 10. So 16 damage, Beavis. 16. From the from the crit. Yep. And his next attack against you is going to be at advantage. And that's going to be a miss. Ooh. And you know what? Oh, shoot. I mean, how, how many squares did I move? One, two. Oh, crap on a cracker. All right, Drac, give me some damage. Three. I'm moving through it. Okay. I'll take less damage from you than I will from the insect plague if I fail my save. Uh, which guy is moving? Uh, sure. You roll good, you might do him in. Oh, he's got two hit points left. Holy <laughs> Didn't quite drop yet. How many ones are in there? Uh, a couple. All couple. right. Two. He drops to one. He, he he drops to a knee. He's very badly hurt. All right. Uh, Eldeth, if you end your turn in the insect plague, you yep. will take damage. Um. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do insect damage on Jerry. Uh, too late. I'm not going to forget next turn. It's not going to be there next turn. <laughs> <laughs> Eldeth, you're up. Is it possible to pull somebody out? Uh, you could, if you wanted to grab Jerry and fire dwarf carry him out of the insect plague. I'll, I'll uh, hang on. So five. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. I will let you do it. If you, That is your entire turn. You grab Jerry, you fireman carry him all the way back to Drac. Okay, but then can I use an action surge on nope. top of that? Nope, that's going to be your whole turn. No. Well, <laughs> well, Beavis is really heavily hit, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but if you want to get him out of there, just get him out of there. Okay, I'm gonna grab Jerry, and I'm just gonna run. 
back this okay. way, I guess. So, so you're going to pick up Jerry, and you, two of yep. you are going to run back to here. Okay, and that is that will be your entire turn. Yep. Okay. All right. Ashra, what is she going to do? Do you want to move the uh, the 15-foot? Uh, like, yes, I will do that. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Um... Tough battle, tough battle, tough battle, tough battle. How hurt is she? Oh. Okay. Uh, she is going to cast a spell on herself. Okay. And then... Um, shoot. I don't have any bonus action stuff here. All right. That's going to be it. And then the other cleric. is the one that did insect plague she is going to i thought chorlin was the insect plague guy no no if i said Chorlin's that I, I said, if i said if i said that it's a mistake it's the one below her <laughs> sorry I thought that, it was Chorlin too. Uh, yeah my, that's why i attacked chorlin uh, my my bad sorry about that He's 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 a badass too. I mean, don't think for a minute that he's not. Uh... Yeah, it's okay. All right. Um, what is this? I'll just kill them both. Okay. Hang on. I have quite, 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 quite a few options here. Um, she is going to turn to shore. And cast a cure spell on him. Oh, wait, what's this? I'll just help you out a little bit. We accept their surrender. Oh, you're a funny guy. All right. Yeah, uh, I am. She is going to do mass cure wounds to all of her comrades. So he gets some back. He gets some back. Get some back, and you get some back. Everybody within thirty feet. Okay. Glabagool, come on, Glabagool, in this fight over here, would you please? <laughs> nope. <laughs> All right, Jorlin, he is going to attack you, Mister Utini. Bring it on, buddy. All right, and he's got a poison blade as well, and that's going to miss, and i uh, going to hit you with that one, though, and do you have a resistance to poison? No. All my resistances are current on my character. Yeah, but it didn't do it on Beavis's, so I'm guessing it's not going to do it on this one. He doesn't have the effect on it. Okay. It's like he does, he doesn't well, this damage is considered, this damage is like considered poison. Um, for the first attack, right. so so you take yeah, yeah no so I don't have resist I have my resistance necrotic and fire okay programmed in okay he did uh, not well have he did two he did two attacks on you and for seventeen okay well, it says twenty two on my sheet I resisted part of it oh, okay the physical part and that is an action spell I think the rest of these are all not bonus actions. Okay. And oh man. Oh, he actually hit Shushar. Oh, and Shushar's hurt. All right. Gee, another D and D night where the combat is just going on forever. What is going on with that? Draculetta. 
we're playing D and D. That's how old I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you right. missed it, if you missed it on Friday night, my bonus D and D night was one gigantic battle the whole night. <laughs> that was my D and D night last night. So, uh, hey, Jack, can you just tell the uh, cloud of daggers that we need it anymore at this point? Uh, I don't think we need it. So yeah, um, action or yeah. bonus action on that? Uh, bonus, I do believe. It's ending concentration, whatever that is. Yeah, I think it's a bonus. No, there's, there's no action. It's a free action. Oh, is it? You just drop concentration. Yeah. I don't think so. Okay. All I right. Mean, if you cast another spell with the cast that's concentration, it would it go is away free. anyways. You're so. right. Yeah. It is free. You are correct. Okay. Yep. So it All goes right. away. Push. Gone. Uh, I am going to Firebolt. Uh, the uh, Aisha or Aisha. Firebolt or Eldritch Blast? Uh oh, my sound cut out. Yep, hold on. Stupid yep, discord. Nope. Stupid discord. Drac, I heard you, I heard you say firebolt, and I said something, and then you cut out. Firebolt. Nope, I am firebolting. Here. Okay, go ahead. I can't wait to get off of this stupid version of Discord. Oh, and I missed her. Oh, that's too bad. With a nine, that is too bad. That bumps me out. All right. Is that all you got? Uh, yeah, that's all I got. Ooh, teeny. I'm going to zoom in for this one. Oh, boy. Uh... Got to kill the one that casts this stupid sick plague. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I was trying to do. but uh... I know, we attacked, we attacked the wrong one. I know. Yeah. DM switcheroonie. Uh, let's see. We are going to attack recklessly. Attack. Oh, hang on. Oh, uh, you can do wait, that what? at will. What attacking attack with... recklessly? Yes. I'm just. I'm curious. Yeah. Okay. Uh, pretty sure. Okay. Yeah. A little check. Oh yeah, you can. Uh, okay. But I'm gonna attack. It's dangerous. Oh, okay. Let me double check to make sure I'm not using a bonus action. But I don't think it is. No, no, no. You just. No, it's it. not gonna be. Just do uh, it. I'm pretty sure that's correct. Yep. Uh, you can throw all consign. When you make your first attack, you decide. Yep. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, first attack on Lavara. 21. Yep. And 21 damage. Okay. You want to do a concentration check now? or? Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, where is she? You want to wait until I kill her? No, 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 do it now. Do it now. She's, she's got lots of points. All right. Uh, what did you do? How much damage did you do? 21. 21. Uh, so it's a DC 11. Uh, con. And that insect plague is gone. Excellent. Okay. And we're going to attack again. Okay. Keep rolling 19. You can give me 20. <laughs> uh, so 27 to hit. Yes. And another 18 damage. And still up. And bonus action. Attack again. Ooh, 14. That's unfortunate. Nope, that's going to be a miss. Yeah. Rolled right. two fives. Okay. Lame. Uh, and that's all I got. Beavis. Oh my gosh! You can, uh, you got yeah, which one I kill, don't you? Yeah, except the the problem it's, is I he's have bleeding from many wounds. <laughs> so I, I will take a step here, and I'm going to use lay on hands and heal myself for twenty five. Okay, and that is your action and that movement. Is my, that is my action. You gonna do anything for so, a bonus? No bonus. I don't have anything I could do for a bonus action. Okay. Well, right. I could scream and yell and say, "You guys can't surrender right now." If we're right, going to kill you. As far as they're concerned, they're winning. Okay. All right. Uh, Shushar, come on, Shushar, finish this guy off for crying out loud. <laughs> Miss. <laughs> All right. Calliope. Oh, like I have a chance to like finish somebody off? Maybe. There's four targets right up here. The insect plague is now gone. Did you did you slip out of your bonds? I 
I have not. Okay. Maybe I, I think Drag forgot that. forgot to help her out last. Yeah, time. he he kind of oh, did. Oh, I did. I kind of did. No, but he he was busy doing other things, so like missing. But that's okay. I'm going to roll a sleight of hand. Okay. Uh, give yourself a plus one. How do I do that? Uh, the little number guy in the bottom left hand corner, which says modifier. If you put your mouse over it and scroll the, do use your mouse scroll up. It'll add a one to that. Or you can just roll it and add one. Yeah, because I'm rolling my mouse and it. It's no, the the your mouse scroller button, the the little scroller. If you hold oh, the scroll. Oh. There. Couldn't get it to stick. Okay, sleight of hand. Come on. Yay! <gasps> shrink. You swing. You shrink out of it. Okay, and that will that'll be a. Uh, your action, you still have a bonus action and a move action. Well, what can I do for a bonus? I believe vicious mockery is healing. A, or healing always, word. Always. Well, since since Phoebus went and healed himself, I don't feel the need to do that so much anymore. I could actually heal myself, but no. Let's. So who's more wounded, Ilvara or Shur? Well, you, you did see him cast a a heal, but uh, Shore, Shore is still pretty wounded, but not as bad as he was before. Uh oh, my Discord cut out again. Yep, hold on. <sighs> Stupid Discord. I'm sorry, Calliope. What were, what were I? I am going to cast Vicious Mockery at Ilvara. Okay. Is that... You got enough range to do that? Yeah. Let's see. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50... I, I'm just not familiar with the range on Vicious Mockery. It's 60, it's 60 feet. 60 feet. So I need to move up 5 feet. I, can I do that? Sure. Yeah. The, the, the globe you're in right now is the bright sunlight from Eldeth's yeah. weapon. But I, I can move and cast? Yes. Then I'm just going to move up here. That's well within 60 feet. Okay. That's also well within my movement speed, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. And Go ahead and drag it right onto the you, victim. You look like you enjoy sunlight. <laughs> I'm sorry, you Darn made it. a save. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to guess that that's your turn. That is my turn. Okay. Jerry, you have mental control over the hammer. All right. So, yeah, at the very least, I'm going to um, attack uh, probably Asha. Okay. Let me take the hang on a second, Jerry. Let me take that restrained off of you. We know you're restrained, but then it won't affect your roll. There we go. Um, Hang on. Let's see what her armor class is. Didn't quite make it on tour. Uh, that is a hit. All right, cool. <coughs> oh, nice. that was a nice roll. All right. All right. So <laughs> I can't, you know, do much else other than I could move it as a bonus action and have it smack Ilvara as well for a second attack. Okay. And that's going to be hit as well. Look at Jerry working the hammer. All boom, right. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, it doesn't actually say it says I can it can be whatever weapon makes sense for a life domain. Yeah, it, so in traditional D D up until fifth edition, a spiritual weapon was a spiritual hammer. That's the only reason why it it's a hammer on the screen, but it's whatever weapon you want it to be. It's like basically it, it, it well basically lets you do like if something's immune to bludgeoning damage, you could make it a piercing weapon. Or, yeah, yeah. or some, something like that. So, all right. And stool. Come on, stool. Finish this guy off for crying out loud. Finally. And, oh, he's still alive. Top of the order. So that is round four. Round five. And we're almost two hours in. <laughs> all right. Utini. 
I mean, that dude's not currently next to me, so. Yeah. Oh, this has got to be five. Um, what was that again? I just got to hit your armor class. Oh, because it's right next to you, though. It's, uh... All right, he's just going to attack you twice. The guy who's currently up is not next to me. Uh, what are you talking about? It says Shore is up on my screen. In the comments. Oh, I'm sorry. I I did that incorrectly. Okay, my bad. Beavis. Shore is going to attack you. I'm sorry. Whatever. Bring it. I am going to bring it. That's a mess. Dink. And that is also a mess. Okay. Aldeth. Okay. I'm going to... I have a 25 movement rate, so I'm going to move 25. Okay. Okay. And I am going to cast Sacred Flame on Shore. Okay. Do I have to grab... I have to grab the attack? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you grab that and you drop it on him, he automatically makes a save. And if he misses it, then you roll damage. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try that again. And he made a save. Okay. So that's... Um, And then... If you have a healing word, I'd take one. I'm probably going to get popped this round. 30. But don't feel like you have to heal him. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> uh oh. I don't think, I think you're so, still out of my range. I only have a 25 movement. I do have an action surge where I could move, but all I would do is get c- close and I couldn't heal anything. I think the ladies are. Healing word I, isn't healing word range. I think the ladies are rebelling against you, Utini. <laughs> yeah, well, she's healed me before, so. <laughs> No, I, I I would heal him. I just I don't think I can reach him. Do you even have healing word? I do not have healing uh, word. Okay. I'm a I'm a part fighter. Oh. I I do have I do have a preserve life, which means that I can um, heal as many people as I want within thirty feet of me. But I only have a twenty five movement, so I am currently within thirty. Do well, are we, I can't remember. Do we do diagonals as well? We could oh, no, all... she's a targeting system and you'll tell exactly how far she is. I'm 35 feet away from her, yeah, yeah. Then I'm probably a little more, yeah, yeah. I mean, I could move up to prepare for Oops. it. Oh, crap. I'll do that. Ah, I just accidentally closed the map. Oh, that's the wrong one, but you also already used a standard action, so oh, yes, I did. Yep, so I, I have to stay here for now then. Trust me, I was trying to figure out how to get to you guys, but I just can't. So. Okay. So you're done? Yeah, there's nothing else I can do. Okay. All right. Asha is up. Um. Okay. So what does she cast so far? She's cast Spiritual Guardian. So that's one third level. She cast um, Cure. That's a first level. And then she cast... Mass, no, she didn't cast mass cure. The other person cast mass cure. Uh, she is going to cast spiritual guardian again with her last third level slot. So that is going to create the 15 foot radius fiendish guardians. On her. And. Uh, an affected creature's speed is half in the area. When you enter an area for the first time. On a turn or start a turn there. You must make a wisdom saving throw or take damage. And. That is going to be her turn. Actually, how many hit points does she have left? Hmm. 
Yeah, that's going to be your turn. All right, and then Alvara, she is going to... Okay, so she's done the Insect Plague. That was... Fifth. She's going to use... Oh, she, she's used both of her fifth levels. Dang it. Um... Oh, crap. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Am I not hearing people again, or are you just waiting for me? No, no I think talking. Okay, there you go. <laughs> um... Nice. Okay. She sees that the tide of the battle is turned. She says, Oh, great Orcus, please help us in our time of need against your dire enemy. And she casts Summon Demon. What the? And it has a 30% chance to summon a demon. Here we go. I'm going to roll the percentage. In the chat. Ready? I'm pressing my fingers. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I was... And as a result, she takes 1d10 points of damage for failing. Ouch. So she takes three points of damage. Okay. Yes, our gods have protected us. Yes. And, okay, so that was an action. Um, for a bonus action. Is this a bonus action? No. I mean, she could cry as a bonus action. I mean, she is going to. Damn, both of you guys look at attack of opportunities on her. How oh, baby. How many hit points she's got left? Uh, not enough. Seriously, I got smites left. Uh, she, can, she can only do this summon demon once per day. All right. Uh, that's going to be it. Her uh, Glabagool. Come on, Glabagool. Jesus, man. That drow is really fighting for his life back there. It's pretty funny that all those guys are ganging. I know. <laughs> they still have to kill him. All right. Yep. Uh, Jorlin. Now it's Jorlin's turn. All right. So two attacks on um, Utini. Oh, why was that at an advantage? Because he's reckless thing. Oh. Does that carry over to the next turn? I'm Until my next turn, things that attack me get oh. advantage. Oh, okay. Well, the first attack was a miss, unfortunately. Excellent. And the second attack was a hit. Pretty cool. Um, so you're going to take, since I can't drag it on you, you're going to take 10 points of damage. What kind of damage? Uh, that would be piercing. So I will take five. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, drown number five. I'm going to take an attack on Shushar. Uh-oh. Shushar could be going down for the count here, folks. And Shushar is now in heavy damage. Draculetta. Oh, which drow do you guys want? To try to take out. Uh, the one with the spiritual guess. weapon? Which or Ilvara's pretty messed Ilvara up. Ilvara is probably the lowest of them. Okay. Is that the one with the spiritual guardian? Or no. which it's, one? It's, it's I, not. Asha she's... is the one. So. <sighs> yeah, but Ilvara is freaking heavily wounded. She's like Okay. I'm pounding on her. Well, so. then I'm gonna make sure I really do it. Firebolt on her if I cannot fail. Oh, dang it! So why are you firebolting instead of Ultra's blasting? Dang it! Because it does more damage. No, it doesn't. For him, it does. For me, oh. it does. Oh, for, okay, <laughs> okay. Trust me, for me, it does. <laughs> All right, 
Anything else, Drac? Nope, that's it. All right. Utini, make a right. wisdom. <laughs> hold your horses there. And plus, partner. it's also a, a cantrip for me, too. Wisdom saving throw for the spiritual guardian. 17. Okay. so You, you have st- advantage, too. So Okay. Uh, but you made it anyways. Hang on. And, and uh, Asha, what's the DC on that? Hold on a second. I got to look. Not that. Uh, okay, uh, you're 17. Yeah, you made it, but you still take half. Um, yeah, I take quarter. Uh, this is force damage. Not oh, necrotic. Oh no, I'm sorry. You're you're right. It is necrotic. Yeah, that's right. All right, so I'm gonna this roll it. Necrotic. I'm just gonna roll it in the chat. You take four. Four necrotic. Is that before or after my? That is after. Resistance? That is after your resistance. You would have taken nine. But you take four. All right, now you may go. <clears throat> Rack on. Uh, attacking recklessly. Attacking Ilvara. Another 19. Another 19. 28. Yeah, you, <laughs> so you should. Close. You, too bad you're not uh, doing levels of fighter. You'd be getting the crit on that level. On yeah, that right. I considered it. Uh, let's see. Damage. 20. Uh, I'm with, on who? Ilvara. Ilvara? Where is she? This is damage. Yeah, why, yeah, why isn't it not like... Nice. Uh, she's badly, badly wounded. Still up, though. All right. Well, we're going to attack her again. Man, these things uh, are a sack 18. of hit points. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they yeah okay. Yes. That is going to drop her. <clears throat> Dying. Excellent. Yes. All right. And bonus action, attack this guy in front of me. Jorlin? Okay. Yeah. 26. Yep. And he will take 15. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and I'm done. Beavis. All right. Wisdom saving throw. Okay. That is not going to cut the cheese, my friend. Son of a... All right, and that is on Ash. So I am just going to drag this bad boy right on you. Nope, not that one. This one. For 10, Necrotic. Oh. All right, and you're up. So I am... Do I have any... I don't, I'm not targeting anyone right now. Not currently, I believe. Okay, good. So then I'm going to target that person. I'm going to attack with Acris. 26. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to smite with a second level spell. Fiend. No. But still, and that was on Asha? Uh, Yeah. Mm, well, no, I no. gotta do the actual damage too. So, oh, well, hang on. But you didn't drag the smite on her, did you? Yeah, I dragged the smite on her, oh, and okay. I just did oh no, she's yeah, she's yeah, she's down. Oh, okay, she's down, dead. All right, no. So, a spiritual weapon goes away, uh, or a spiritual guardian goes away. Spiritual guardian goes away. Uh, hold on. There we go. Okay, and yeah. my next attack. Who's going to be against Ilvara? Okay. Um, why did he What's give me advantage for some reason? Um. Isn't Ilvara dead? She's fallen as if dead. No, you, you, uh, yeah, Ilvara's down. Oh, Ilvara's dead. So yeah, Shore yeah. is the only one that within oh, your Shore range. is right. Yeah, so I, I'll attack him. I'll roll again. Okay. Uh, 30? Mm-hmm. And 15. Okay. All right. Shushar. Shore is dead, too. Sweet. He is going to... Uh, where's... Oh, here it is. Finish the straw off. Finally. All right. That drow is getting beat up by those little guys. Should be ashamed of himself. I know, right? And he's down, too, now. <laughs> All right, Calliope. 
Hmm. I am going to cast Vicious Mockery at Jewel. Okay. She says, you're as ugly as the half-orc you're fighting. Oops, oops, I clicked up on mistake. Jewel, and there he is. You're almost as ugly as your teeny. Now that worked. Two <laughs> damage. I'm helping. Uh, where is he, Jorlin? Okay. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. Actually, the Jerry. Healing word Jerry. Is a, wait, wait. Oh, I'm the sorry. Go back. Bonus yes. I can't believe I'm going to do this. Oh boy. I can't believe I'm going to do this. Don't bother. He's got tons of hit points left. Uh, I'm, yeah, it's not working this time for some reason. There we go. Okay. Ha! Utini, you feel better like somebody told you a nice bedtime story. Somebody whose shoes smell really good. Yes. Is it the one about the slaying of the elves? <laughs> yes, your favorite. Jerry, you're actually up. Okay. Uh, I've got a question quick. Yep. Uh, how... This is for the party. How badly are you actually hurt, Shushar? Oh, Shushar, uh, he is. Hang on, let me look. He's got six hit points left. All right, I'm out going of eight. Out of eighteen, do, he's not a super high level. I'm gonna. Guy. Well, yeah, but I'm gonna do a healing word on him. Okay. You can drag it right on his token. It should work. All right, where is Shushar? He's he behind is. you. You have Calliope targeted, though. It'll go on her if you... Oh, there, that worked correctly. Okay, Ooh, very good. All right, uh, so that's my action, and then the bonus action is going to be the weapon attack. Okay. I'm just trying to get back to the map here. Yeah, it's a it's a big map. I actually had to extend it out a little bit to to make a big enough um, field there. Nice. Ooh, that's nice. A hit. Even restrained, Jerry's just dominating. Oh, not with the one he isn't. <laughs> hey, it's a hit. You hit him in the you hit him in the big toe. All right, uh, stool jumps up and down for joy. Top of the order. Um, all right. Shore on his initiative dies. And then, oops, I'm sorry. Eldeth. Okay. Um, if it says that somebody's wounded in the combat tracker, are they, at, could they be less than half of their hit points? Or Who are you considering? Just anybody. Like, what does wounded mean? Um, so, so the interface generates wounded... Um, what are the different ones, Patrick? There's wounded, heavily wounded. It it all depends. Um, there there's an option to turn on this little color bar, but it sometimes messes up in the with the map. So I turned it off. I mean, you can look in the party sheet. You can That's look in the part. You can for. look in the party sheet oh. for the party members. But if you're looking for like the Shushar and Glabagool and Stool, they're not in there though, because I don't want them to get experience. Okay, so it looks like everybody's at half. Um, just because my healing spell doesn't heal you beyond half, so it would be pointless. Okay. Okay, um, I will move up. And I will cast another cantrip, uh, this time on Jorlin. Okay. You mean the... Uh... You were gonna. You oh, did uh, sacred sacred flame. Yeah, he saved. Yes. Okay. Is that your and turn? That's the end of my, yep, that's it. Okay. All right. Asha dies, and Alara 
dies. Glabagool. Ooh. So Glabagool moves 5, 10, 15. This gelatinous cube's coming at you, Jerry. And he's he's like, hello to you. I haven't seen you before. That's his turn. And Jorlin, go ahead and take your AOO. Utini, he's jumping for it. Happily. You're going to have to crit him. That's a hit. I don't think you're going to do him in, though. Okay. Ooh. 22. That's, wow, uh, that, that's, a lot that's, of damage. that's uh, cool. still pretty good. Uh, he he jumps over off the web bridge and falls amongst the webs and into the darkness of the cavern below. You don't know whether he lived or died. And that is the end of the battle. Well done, everybody. Well done. Ouch. I actually got to beat on Beavis. That was that's a that's a beat light. Beat on all of us. If I get to Jesus. count that as a kill or not, I'm gonna have to uh, set. Hell no! Set <laughs> un unconfirmed kill. Yes, uh, Jerry Glabul comes up to you and he goes, "Hello, little little person. I can help you with that." So the thing about Jerry the cleric is is <laughs> that he has li so he believes in living amongst the people, like the people, and he grew up in fairly easygoing conditions for the sure. most part and uh he's a human by the way so he's a, i mean i guess yes. he's by that thing but yeah uh so jerry the cleric is you know a strenuous day on the couch is something that might have once or twice come from his lips so uh the idea of like being in a dungeon in the middle of a fight is already pretty tough for this guy and he just doesn't even know what to think. He's kind of speechless, just jaw. And 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 if you and if you look closely, uh, uh, and I showed everybody before, this he's actually got eyeballs, and he's got a little mouth like uh, I always forget his name, Eldith, from uh, Beaker. No, no, no. The the oh yeah, from the Orville. From the Orville, the the, the slime from the little slime from the Orville, <laughs> um, Yafid. Yep. Yeah, he's got the little mouth like up. He goes, hello there. He's looking down at you as you're all gooped up. I can help you with that. And he reaches out and you're like, no, 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 don't hurt me. <laughs> and and he kind of dissolves all the goopy stuff on you with his with his uh, gelatinous dissolving. You don't have to wait for an hour or a day. Useful actually. stuff that. Uh, yeah. Are you prepared? So, Glabagool, I, you are a sentient creature, I assume. I am Glabagool. I woke up and my friends, and he point, he kind of points his little pseudopods around everybody, found me in this chamber and I woke up and I know my God is nearby and that's why Gabagool is smart now and has eyeballs and mouth. If I were to say, you know, try to give you a hug, would it kill me? Uh, I would probably dissolve parts of your uh, body. I All would, right, so you can't turn it off or anything. No, like no, I can't. I can't. Glabagool right, is well, still a gelatinous to, cube. Do you know what's great, though? You get to go first. I mean, you get to be the first person to see everything. Oh, yes. Glabagool has seen much more than his little cave that he lived in for many, many, many times. He doesn't know what he is. Great. Hears. Well, I look for I could look forward to to uh, working with you uh, from a distance in the future. Yes, and uh, uh, also Shushar and Stool come over, and uh, Shushar thanks you. He, he says thank you very much, brave cleric, for your cure against uh, your cure on me against uh, when I was fighting that that evil drow. I remember him from when we were captured as slaves. He he beat me many times. That's why I had to kill him. And uh, stool, you see these little spores come off a of stool, and then you can and they touch you, and then you can communicate. Says, "Hello, I'm stool." Uh, 
Oh, did I lose sound again? Nobody. Okay. (laughs) Okay. Okay. I, you know, I guess if if I'm going to be seeing some talking gelatinous cube. And giant fish men and talking mushrooms? Yeah. It's like you took mushrooms, Jerry. Yeah. You know, (laughs) at some point you just have to roll with it. What else are you going to do, right? Yep. Uh, Yeah. So uh, let's get some experience handed out here. All right. Yeah, it's got to be a lot, man. It, that is, it, it is quite a bit. And this this is the Drow Pursuit Party, and this is in the adventure. So just to recap for people who may not know, when, if you start this adventure at first level, you actually start as a slave in a Drow slave camp. That's where Eldith and Shoshar and Stool came from. And um, these guys are pursuing you. In addition to that, there's an open contract on Dracula's life that, that Yuck Yuck and Spiderbait hope to cash in on because they were very excited to see you, Drac. I don't know if you remember that. Yes, I do. Yeah, okay. They were. So, uh, all right. So let's get this. And they took off. Yep. Yep. Uh, party sheet. Here we go. Eldeth, are you okay? How was it? It was. It, w- it was. I'm a little stunned, and but I'm okay, dear. All right. So those are. You guys hear, you say deer? deer? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. And deer? Then the hunt, what? And then the hunting party. She smiles. All right. Oh, oh not bad. So there's a little bit of experience. So Jerry and Calliope, you, you guys spent, uh, it's been about a week, maybe? Since uh, since the collapse of Shadowfell Keep, uh, you guys were wandering around in the underdark, and you happened to fall asleep one night and woke up and bound and gagged with um, with the uh, the drow. Can he do it? No. no he Are you sure? Yes, I'm positive. <laughs> <clears throat> so uh, so they kind of fill you in. Shoshar is trying to help you guys uh, out a little bit. Uh, he, Shushar is headed back to the, his village, which is on Dark Lake. And he says, once you get to Dark Lake, you can navigate the Underdark a lot better because everybody knows where Dark Lake is. And then there's paths to the major cities. And from one of those major cities, other than Menzo Baranzin, you can get to the surface. For those of you who don't know who, what that is, that is the Drow City of the Underdark. So right now you guys are trying to get to the uh this the Koto city of uh Slobodope <clears throat> which according to Shushar is once you find Dark Lake he'll be able to tell you exactly where it is. Hopefully within one or two days of, of travel. Yeah well we need to get out of these damn spider webs. Um I, if you guys remember correctly I said that you could see a cat the cavern that you guys were exiting that you needed to exit. It wasn't very far. Oh, it's just good. this is it's just this is where you guys got yeah, where, spy, where spider bait and yuck yuck decided to uh, jump you. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Yes, that sounds great. It'd be <laughs> about time to get out of the uh, regular cave. Maybe get some good gr- as lay outside in the sun for a while. I sheath Dawnbringer. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you turn it off. Some of that light spell. I turn it off. Yeah, and, I it, grab Beavis, and I grab Beavis's hand. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> can you? Hey, I'm going to turn to my gelatinous friend and say, "Hey, can you? Uh, can you go outside?" I am outside. Uh, There's no more more? like under the sun. Yeah, like under the sun. What's the sun? Well, you've got a journey ahead of you. Oh. Okay. But I let me know if you start to feel bad, okay? Okay. No, Glabagool, this is I am outside, Glabagool. Inside for him was the was the old complex. They they found since they've been here, they found two runes. One of them was an old temple, and that's where they found Glabagool. And then they, there was another one where they found an old crypt, and that's where Eldith found Dawnbringer. And basically it's um you remember the old Thunder of the Barbarian? cartoon that's basically what it is and that's where beavis and eldeth got matching heart bracelets yeah 
<laughs> there was oh a big, there was a big treasure oh and it said, it said it said it's the it said there's one of the treasures that said matching bracelets. So I said, Oh so one of them is half of a heart and the other one's the other half of the heart. So <laughs> Oh boy. So, so for, the, for for those of you who are utterly confused, um, Beavis is a paladin of Morden, and Eldith is a cleric of um, Baronar. Baronar True Silver, and in the Dwarven Pantheon, those two are a couple. So, and she's got a wonderful beard. Um, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Yes, plated in silver. Uh, and she can fly. Yes. So, uh, did you guys right. want to take time to? Oh, so you, so you get you basically you get out of the spider webs. So you, you get to the edge of the. So this path takes you to the to the cavern, and from there you guys are back into the cavernous underdark. So I'm going to close this map and. I'm going to move things ahead just a little bit. So you guys, once you get out of this cavern area, we're going to take time to rest or no, you're just going to keep pushing on. No, we're going to, I mean, at this point, unless there's a reason to, we need to get out of this prison yeah, where we were. Yeah, at but and get out. a lot of us are wounded badly. So well, got plenty I'm... of healing. We should go find okay. someplace yeah. safe. Okay. To well, you it, that's relatively easy. So wh- what we've been doing um, for the Underdark travel is twice a day you check for random encounters. And, and a random encounter can be a terrain encounter or an actual creature encounter. Um, when the guys have been rolling terrain encounters, I've actually been inserting some of these predetermined locations. But we're going to pass on those for the, for the time being. So... You can get out of the spider the spider web caverns and you travel a little bit and you find a nice uh, relatively large size cavern. Oh, by the way, all of your equipment was on one of the priestesses too, by the way. Jerry and Calliope. So you can gather up all your... All Is there your... anything else fun from those, the dead draw? Um, you know what? That's a great question. Let me take a look here quick. For the ones you killed that didn't get away. Yes, actually, there is. Jerry, you know that wand that that guy gooed you with? He's uh, he's, he's got it right there. Okay, for a sec. Oh, he step away. Yeah, he's AFK a sec. Oh, okay, not a problem. Uh, that actually that other than so they, they do have some. The hell was that? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> okay. Um, they, they do have uh, short swords and hand crossbows, if you guys were interested in a hand crossbow. And each one of the bolts of the hand crossbows uh, do, are, do have draw poison on them. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, I'll take I'm one if no one wants one. Poison. Okay. I mean... All right, so there would be, uh, let's see, Shore has one. Shore has a hand crossbow with poison. The other guy, he took took a leap. He doesn't have one. Oh, the, actually, there's two things you guys find. So, Jerry, um, that wand that that guy gooed you with. Ooh, hey, he's that's He's got a that. And there is, the one of the priestesses has another item. And it looks like a rod with little tendrils at the end of it. Okay. Um, anybody, nobody's got Arcana, correct? Since you don't have a real wizard? Correct. I'm at a minus one on Arcana. Okay. Um... Shushar would actually know. He says, "He says, oh, my friend Jerry, that is a tentacle rod. Yeah, a rod with tentacles, a tentacle mm-hmm. rod. It's it's kind of like it's just it's just a it's just a rod, but it's got tentacles in the end that kind of look act like a whip when you fling it, and then all the tentacles okay. whip out like a like a whip. And all right, so I'm going to grab the tentacle 
rod and the uh, wand of gooing. Yeah, it's uh, and Shushar definitely knows what that is. It's a wand of, of viscous globs, and that particular one he used it twice, so it has five. I'll tell you, there's five charges yet left. Um, hang on a second. Let me see if uh, I'm not sure if they're actual item items in the system. Um, I hope they, I would hope they are. Uh, okay. Tentacle rod exists. Yep, tentacle rod. Here we go. All right. So who's ever going to take that? I'm going to put that in the chat. And yeah, those are the two things that they have. I'm sorry. I was looking at the wand of viscous gobs. Yep, there we go. So they don't have any like healing potions or anything else? Nothing? Nope. They had two clerics. What do they need healing potions for? So who's ever going to take those items? You may place them on your sheet. I'm taking the wand of gooing. <laughs> that sounds horrible. <gasps> I don't want anything. Nobody's going to take the rod? Drac? Yeah, I'm going to say I'll take that rod up. No, I was waiting to see if anybody else wants it. Okay. It's good for bird, maybe. Yeah, uh, you you you, you uh, zerged out there a little bit on your voice, Beavis, would you say? Oh, like I mean, if you look at it, it's it's a pretty nice thing for someone who's not a great fighter. A so front, a front line for fighter, like a, yeah. it's like a bard. Oh, as as an emergency backup weapon or something. But who cares? Doesn't matter. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, whoever wants it. Yep. All right. Um. So you guys, you guys find a nice little area to, um kind of like rest in uh well we'll we'll have the new the the newly rejoined party members calliope go ahead and roll me a 20-sided please power or regular no just regular this would be for a random encounter check Oops, I well, a third third 13. 13, I'll, just, I'll take the first one. 13 is no yeah. encounter. Okay. So you guys find a nice place to rest. Um, were you guys going to do foraging? Yeah. We okay. kind of have to. You're going to have to? Okay. Yeah. All right. So everybody everybody make a survival. Everybody that wants to forage for something to eat. And basically, um, Calliope and Jerry, that was the, they were look, looking for mushrooms or other things to in the Underdark to eat. Uh, where what did you see a foraging check? Uh, no, it's just it's a survival survival role. Well, I'm right. really going to starve because I rolled a three. Okay. I'll share my food with you, Calliope. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, it depends. Well, well, some of it depends on what you find. Um, hold on, I gotta find the goofy uh, chart again. Hold on. Well, yeah, because remember we found that one thing that was like very very bad. Yes. Okay, so who's got the best roll here? That would be Eldeth. Eldeth, you find something. Go ahead and roll me a, I think it's a 12-sided. Yep, 12-sided. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, they don't uh, They don't give me a little chart to roll on if you actually find something. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay. Um, you, you find this little puddle of water and in it you find this bulbous fungus that looks kind of like a sponge and it looks like it's full of full of the water oh um do i know what it is uh, make another survival check please okay because I, I also do have an ability as well. And that ability is? It is... Never mind, uh, you made it with a 17. Okay. Okay, this is a water orb fungus. So okay. it holds a gallon of water, and you can carry it on your person. It's kind of like almost like a water skin. And it is editable. It doesn't taste very good, but it is edible, and it will. it, it is a day's worth of food. Oh, nice. And is it free of poison and disease, or do I need to purify it? Nope, it is, it is free of any ill effects. Okay. Is the water that it's in free of ill effects? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. It How says it, 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 it converts it to drinkable um, 
drinkable water. Um, it, it it's very tasteless, so it it doesn't it has that bland, very bland taste. But it is considered a nutritious fungus that you could live on for one day's worth of rations. And can I pull it apart and give everybody some? Sure. I would okay. say I would say that would be a good little meal for everybody, plus drinking water. Fresh. Okay. The, I, the sponge kind of the sponge kind of filters the water that it was in. I divide it into six even pieces and hand one to everybody. Okay. Including my are mom. you are you gonna feed the what's my call it dudes? Stool doesn't need it and Glebagul doesn't need it and Shushar says, I am fine. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're they can pretty much fend for themselves out here. Mm-hmm. But but that is but thank you for thinking of them, Otini. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm gonna guess you guys are taking a long rest. Yeah, if we think it's I'd like safe. I'd take a long rest. Yep. If it, if it's yeah, yeah. I mean, this is, from what the long rest that you guys have taken so far, this is as good a place as any. So I am going, and I've already, we've already rolled the encounter, so there's no encounter. So I'm going to initiate a long rest on the sheet. There we go. And I'm going to swap a spell, and um, I forgot Grognard is uh, going to help take a watch with me if we need to. Oh, do you have to resummon him? It just pops in. I mean, okay. it, He's, once he's here, he's like a familiar, and he can go. Yeah, the you, you see the paladin can summon a battle goat. Uh, yes, I have a battle. Goat. He has a battle goat, and he, what's it's his my name? Steed. What's his name again? Grognard. Grognard. Jerry, we need to get a picture of the goats from Lotro. Because that's how I, that's oh, how I, I'm sure that's, how, that's, that. how I, that's how I picture that's how I picture it. <laughs> I re, I remember having one of those when I was playing. Um... Okay. Uh, one of the coolest things about Lord of the Rings Online, by the way. Uh, okay. So, within, uh, you wake up the next day, and Jerry, go ahead and roll me a 20 sided. Let's we'll see if there's any kind of encounter today. And there will be none. And you guys travel for a couple of hours. You notice that the, the terrain kind of evens out a little bit. It's not as. When you guys are traveling through the Underdark, you can like go one up one passage and then down another and kind of curves around. It's not a straight line. Since you left the web cave, you see things kind of even out a little bit. More of a straight line, kind of more level travel. <clears throat> and within a couple of hours, you guys get you guys get a little whiff of uh, moisture in the air. And you come out of one cave and you see the edge of what you're assuming is Dark Lake. And Shushar comes up and he says, ah, my friends, this is Dark Lake. He says, this must be a small bay or sorts. We need to see those tunnels ahead. We need to get on the other side of those. And he says, once we do that, I can, I'll be able to tell where we are. We'll either go to the right or to the left. He says, Dark Lake is several, several, uh, I think it's like many, 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 many miles across. Dark How Lake, Dark Lake it? is a dark lake. He says, I am, I am slightly familiar with your methods of measuring distance. Dark Lake would be. Two days journey across by foot. So you guys guess between 40 and 50 miles. That's how wide this lake is, at least at that point he's telling you. How deep is it? Uh, He says, oh, the center of Dark Lake is bottomless as far as we know. No one's ever come back there. He says it is is, uh, occupied by many, many different monsters. And he says the evil... uh, uh, okay. All right, guys, help me out here. This is where my pronunciation fails me horribly. The manta ray creatures, the ichthyllies, guys. Drac, help me out here. The uh, witch guys? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> stop, stop drinking. <laughs> no, the... Uh, shoot, hang on. Uh, do, 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 do. 
no. Uh, no, no. The Ixtalixtals. Uh, these guys. He says, they live in the deepest waters of Dark Lake. And they worship the evil Gorgon, he says. Evil Gorgon? Yes. Jerry, make a religion. Uh, anybody has religion? You can't do it untrained. Anybody has religion, make a religion check. Or Arcana. Oh, wait. Nobody has that. No. <laughs> yeah, how does Eldeth not have religion? Because you're not a real cleric. You are sort of. But uh, Calliope, oh. you would know that... Uh, it's, it was just a choice in in skills. That's all. Uh, Calliope, you would know that she he's referring to the demon prince Demigorgon. Calliope. Can't oh, I'm holding. It, sorry, I'm I'm holding down the Windows key instead of Control, and I'm trying to figure out why my Windows menu keeps popping. Uh, yeah. What would I realize now? Something about Gorgon? you. You would realize that when he he says they they worship the evil Gorgon, you you know that that he's referring to the demon lord Demi Gorgon. Okay. So. Yeah. That's kind of scary. Jerry, you come from a very humble village. <laughs> Demi Gorgon is like, who now? What now? <laughs> Demi who? Demi who? Oh my God. How many heads? Um, yeah. He says the, the Dark Lake is f filled with tribes of them. Um, other monsters, things like that. And we have to cross this lake. You have to, so where you are now is kind of like a little harbor, okay? But you have to get, he, Shushar says, see those tunnels just ahead? You have to go through those and that will take you out into Dark Lake proper. Right, so that means we have to have a boat? He says, I would not advise swimming. He says, but all is not lost, my friends. He says, we can, if we look around here, we should be able to find, uh, what do they call them again? Hold on. Uh, do, 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 do. uh, hang on, hang on. He said, we need to find Zerkwood mushrooms. He says, these are gigantic mushrooms that we can take the, the tops off of them and then hollow them out and use them as boats. He said, for the number of people that we have, we would need three of them. Are they edible? Oh. No, they're not, but they're huge. So it's, it's going to take everybody's effort once you find one. He says, he says they grow on the edge of Dark Lake. Um, all we got to do is walk around here and we should eventually find what we need. He's pretty confident. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Uh, so everybody make a... Oh, and it's going to take... Uh, in, well, it takes an entire day for each one of these boats. But So finding it... Cutting it up, hollowing it out, and bringing it to the lake is one day. You guys are going to need to take three days of doing that. Holy cow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, first day, you need it's a survival 15 roll. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clear the chat here so we got a little clearer space there. So, go ahead. Uh, well, actually, if you guys want, I'll do this the easy way. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, survival. Okay, so day one. Oh yeah, Eldeth and Jerry, they they find one pretty easily. So you actually get find two the first day, but it's still going to take you two days to hollow them out, um, and carry them back to the water. Okay. Okay. So while uh, while we're doing that, can we also search on the second day for one? Because we need yes. three, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, right. Yep. Yep. And then the second day. Uh, no, you don't find one. You need a DC 20 roll. So the second day you don't find one. And the third day. Oh, still didn't find one. Utini's got a lead on one, but didn't quite get it. Okay. And Eldeth found another one on the fourth day. 
So, by my reckoning, you guys are almost out of food. But I will let you scavenge during those couple of days as well. So, let me just hang on. Let me clear yeah, this. Well, how many days' rations do I need to mark off? Because I had. Well, so it's four days, but you're splitting it between how many people now? Six people total. Yeah, so hang on. So, okay, so you got three rolls over. 15 there, two rolls over 15, this, three rolls over 15. So you guys find enough mushrooms and everything. Uh, I'll say by the time you got the boats all done, you're out of food. But Shushar goes, you, we are within a day's journey of, I believe, with any luck, we're within a day's journey of slop it up, and we should be able to make it there. So at... Okay. So... Does anybody want to do anything special before you jump in the mushrooms and sail off? So from I falling over not, and drowning. <laughs> yeah, I don't, you know, with all the monsters in here, I, I, isn't there like a guide we can pay or someone? Shashar is your guide. He's, he's, he knows the area. That's why keeping him alive was kind of important. <laughs> all right. And do you think we can do this? Oh, yes. I, I believe so. He says, we must be on our guard, though. He says, my people might be out on hunting party raids, and uh, or we might run into the Exiliacs. I mean, I appreciate that, and, uh, you know, the way you say that, but how do you, how does one be on guard in the middle of a mushroom, in the middle of a lake full of dragon monsters? I mean, oh, there's a monster. Now what do I do? <laughs> Are you getting flashbacks to getting eaten by crocodiles, Jerry? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like, Jerry's like Jerry's like the last time I was on water. Um, it's he says I'm I'm sorry, my friend. This is this is the only way. All right, let's once see once we can get back to slop it up. From there, we can take established uh, trails to the other cities to try and get you all back home. I like this idea. Okay. Going back home. Okay. Do do we have any magic that'll help us? Like breathe water or something if in case we fall in funny you ask i believe the answer is no you won't live long enough to <laughs> there you go well, these I mean, that we just hollowed out are they edible no uh no eldeth asked that before no they are not in fact they are very very tough and rubbery and it does take a while even with your bladed weapons to carve them out so they are really sturdy i mean it's just as good as a wooden boat almost the problem is it's not super maneuverable, so it's not like a boat boat. It probably doesn't have the speed. It's like floating on a dragon, upside down tortoise shell. We make paddles and stuff. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys are making the so the head of the mushroom is the boat. You, the stems you guys can carve into the paddles and stuff. Is there a way to tie myself to the boat with a rope? So when the boat goes down, you'll go with it? Uh, well, I'm I can cut sure, the rope. <laughs> I'm pretty sure our heavy armor is just going to sink us. Well, yeah, that's why I want to tie myself to the boat, because the boat floats. If I fall over... They are makeshift They are makeshift boats, and there's really... I mean, you could try. I, It probably won't be super successful, but you can try. I mean, I've got a... Um, but you won't call it an explorer's kit or something. Okay. It's got like hey, you could you could come up with something, um, but if something wants to drag you out of the boat, you don't know if you could stop it or not. Yeah, I got you. I just want to not fall to the bottom. <laughs> That's right, all. Right. Yeah. So so you guys um, and I and I don't have a graphic ready for it yet, but tell me tell me how you're going to divide everybody up into which boats. And, 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 just for the record, Glabagool will not be able to dissolve the mushroom. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask about. Hmm. He's, he's good. Otherwise, I could float. I think I could float, he says. He goes in the water and he sinks like a brick. He goes, oh, I guess not. I think we should put the dwarves and the tiefling together. Can we do three to a boat, two to a boat? You can, you, you can do, it's it's basically like three to a boat. 
And you technically right, you so have yeah, nine. Let's, so let's put uh, let's put Drac. Uh, yeah, Drac, Eldith, and Beavis in one, and Calliope, me, and Utini in the other, and then our mushroom Utini friends can go in their own. Our mushroom I think, slash. I think Calliope <laughs> might uh, might hang not on. be able to hold her nose that long. Hang, hang on a second. Hang on a second. I do. I do have. I do have. Uh, Blast from the past on this one. There we go, everybody. All right. Um, <laughs> that is still my favorite. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah, that 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 works. So that makes sense. And then you have a healer and a fighter, and it's split mm-hmm. up in terms yep. of skills. And uh, Drac, you just can't get away from the dwarves. I noticed. It's because you're. It's because West. You're yeah, well, it's, it's just being dwarves. I'm yeah, it's something with something with dragon dwarves. Um, so you guys, you guys push out, and after it takes a while, you notice that these things aren't very easy to navigate. But eventually, you kind of get the hang of it. It's kind of like a like a big fat kayak, okay. And uh, eventually, you guys uh, get to a point. Where you go underneath those passages and out into a more open area that is Dark Lake. And as far as the eye can see, you see these stalactites slash stalagmites reaching down and reaching up. Um, and you, the ceiling is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of feet in the in up but you get this weird eerie glow from all the different fungi and everything else in the cavern and it isn't pitch dark not not like it was um in uh you know the 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 regular underdark caverns where you guys came from this is considered low light so jerry you're you're the only person here who doesn't i believe who doesn't have dark vision so at this point you you should be able to see normally um and you come out and Shushar goes, ah, we must go. He points left. And he says, my village is less than a day's travel that way. And he points that way. And guys, that's where we're going to end it for tonight. You guys made it to Dark Lake. And now you're on your way to slub it up. And hopefully on the passage home. Yay. Like All right. For breakfast. Yeah. It's just, so the Koto uh, names are pretty, uh, pretty intense with lots of O's and P's in them. So that's it for tonight, guys. Uh, thanks everybody for checking us out tonight. Uh, and thanks for watching D and D night on DDO stream. Uh, check out twitch.tv slash DDO stream for the official DDO stream calendar to find out about our other D and D night groups, as well as the rest of our DDO streamers. Uh, also please don't forget to check out our sponsor fantasy grounds at fantasygrounds.com uh, to see how you can get started with your virtual Table, tabletop gaming experience today. You can follow DDO at DDO Unlimited on Twitter and Fantasy Grounds at Fantasy Grounds 2. You can follow me, Evil Beaker, at Evil Beaker on uh, Twitter and Evil Beaker Gaming on YouTube. Uh, Patrick? Uh, DDOcast.com for our podcast and DDO Kasplat uh, and at DDOcast on Twitter. Drac? At Dracula underscore 72, Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube, ddoplayers.com, and at ddoplayers. And Jerry, you want to give an official? Sure. You can uh, follow us all at, at DDO Unlimited on Twitter and Facebook and DDO Stream here on Twitch. And we'll have a brand new D oh, yes. Night campaign next week. Uh, it's a surprise. It should be a lot of fun and really enjoyable. I think maybe two people here. A couple of people might know, but in general, this is a surprise. Uh, I think everyone's going to really enjoy it. Is this the uh, one where be, is this the one where the DDO people are going to be surprised? Uh, I'm not giving anything away, man. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, it's not going to be a really regular series um, because it it involves a, a fair amount of prep work on my own uh, self, but. Uh, 
that's kind of what's going on. So it's, it's going to be kind of a filler. Um, hopefully we'll get a couple episodes uh, back recorded. So in, in case uh, we, we have another thing like last week where some, the group that's going just can't do it last minute and we have something kind of in the can. So, yeah. So that's it for tonight, everybody. Thank you again for checking us out and say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Have a good night.